Hello, hello, hello. Hello, everybody. Uh, peace of Christ to all of you. And today we have a topic which is old but new. You know, always we hear Muslims saying that Allah knows best. And actually, this statement is making me dizzy. I feel sometimes when I hear it, like somebody have a cross eyes trying to find why his eyes look like that. Allah knows best. The Quran is a person which is not created. Hmm. But the Quran is a book mentioned by Allah. Every word in the Quran is from Allah. The Quran is a book of Islam, contains scientific knowledge that could not have been known 1400 years ago. I mean, this alone making me feel I want to cry. Isn't it amazing? Why people are trying to deny this beautiful book, which is full of knowledge, which is 1400 years ago, was not known. Thank you, everybody, for saying hello to me from India, from Indonesia, from uh, around the world. Love you all. And uh, welcome and join us and please don't forget to share the link for YouTube and give a like for our video if you like what we do However, if you are a Muslim, don't forget please to give dislike <sighs> <At you>. uh, <laughs> Now you are a Muslim you have to give a like because Allah he says Allah he like the one who sneeze <laughs> And now you have no choice but to give me a like for my video for Allah love those who sneeze Hmm I mean, look how tricky this is. is. Allah like those who sneeze. And Christian Prince, he just sneezed. So what we would do? But he's a kafir. Should we like his video? Not to like his video? Based on the hadith, we should. Because Allah like those who sneeze. And Allah, he hate those who do yawning. I mean, the prophet, he have a point here. I mean, yawning obviously is from shaitan. Let us see. Allah knows best. Allah knows best. <clears throat> Allah knows best to the point he knew that if you do yawn, shaitan, he go inside your hole in your mouth and he laugh at you. And actually a different hadith it says he pissed there. And you are telling me that Allah do not know best. Remember Muhammad is saying this because Allah told him, so at the end of the day, it's Allah knows best. And by the way, this is a proven to be scientifically correct. The funny, I saw an article made by Muslims speaking about the Prophet teaching uh, science. How? He told the Muslims to put their hand on their mouth if they are uh, yawning. Okay, and they say, when you yawn, a lot of bacteria come from your mouth and you can transmit a disease to someone else. But my friend, the prophet was not saying this because of science. He was saying that because shaitan will jump inside your mouth. So look what the Muslims they do. They take a funny, stupid statement of their prophet and they try to make a science of it. Once in a chat room program, it's called Pal Talk. I open a chat room, it's called, let us sneeze for the sake of Allah. And I ask the Muslims to come to the microphone and sneeze because we want to make Allah happy. Because as you see, Allah loves sneezing. <laughs> and he dislikes yawning. <sighs> Allah now is really upset. I mean, come on, stop, please stop. Christian Prince, stop doing this. This guy is yawning. I hate it. Allah loves sneezing, but he dislikes yawning. So when we have cold, Allah, he is happy. It's a season for Allah. I mean, I can tell right now, what is the best day for Allah? You know, December, January, February. People have cold and they are sneezing all over. Now, for sure, Allah knows best. Now, 
Do we have any Muslim from those who believe that Allah knows best would like to give me a call? Who is a Muslim? Would like to call me and tell us why you Muslims you say Allah knows best. Based on what? And I warn you, don't do what the guy Somalian yesterday he did. He threatened that he will kill me and he got a response which is not really nice. I am not the one who can be intimidated. Not by your God, not by your terrorist. You threaten me, I will do even more. I'm not a potato. So now, <clears throat> somebody is asking me to make a video about Muhammad being a hypocrite. My friend, how Muhammad can be a hypocrite? Like, come on. Muhammad, he said to the Muslims, you can have only four wives, but he have 13 wives. Like, come on, hello. Muhammad said to the Muslims, you cannot have sex with your wives, but he was doing that. Muhammad, he told them, don't piss toward the Kaaba, but he was pissing toward the Kaaba. I mean, come on. Muhammad, he told the men, when you go to a house of your friend, don't look at his wife, but he was looking at his own son wife, and he later, he took it and he slept with it. How in the world you can say the prophet is a hypocrite? I mean, come on. Those people who say that the prophet was a hypocrite, obviously they are infected with the Islamophobia. And I can tell that the person who asked me the truth to prove this, you know, I mean, he is obviously not, uh, you know, he's Islamophobia. And I don't like those Islamophobia people. All actually, all the Christians, Jews, Hindus, Buddhas, they have phobia. Look, a Muslim, he go to a hospital, he see a cross, he get upset. It's you who have a phobia. Why you are having the cross there? The Muslim, he don't like it. I mean, come on. It's not the Muslim who have a phobia. Mm. Anyway, do we have any Muslim would like to call us? Hmm? Who is a Muslim want to show us some of what the Muslim says Allah knows best? <clears throat> An open challenge for the Abdul. Hey, by the way, I have uh, I made two short videos in minds.com you can download them from there about the Abdul who called me yesterday all right who said that we are as a Muslims we are allowed to lie to you as kuffar so I made them two short videos because that video I, I uh, it's not published now later we will have it back Uh, I noticed that always when I make a new video, people they watch the last video and they ignore the video before it. I don't know why. As if it's like a fresh fruit or something. So if you go to minds.com, you will find the new videos published by me. You can download them. How you can download them? Very simple. Click at the video, let it play. And when it's playing, you click in the right side of your mouse and it says save as and you can save the video. Very simple. All right, look like we have a Muslim he would like trying, or uh, somebody told me he have a Muslim he want to call. Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? Mayday, mayday. Allah knows best. I say that Allah know nothing. I say, and I claim, that Allah not only He knows nothing, He is really funny and ignorant. 
And actually, I cannot say Allah is ignorant because Allah does not exist. So I have to say that the one who told us that Allah said so, obviously he's a liar and he is ignorant too. Hmm? Okay, we have a Muslim is downloading Skype now and he will call me as soon he finished downloading Skype. Somebody saying, do you, can you tell me where Muhammad was raped by his cousins? This is not this a surah, this is in his stories. Uh, when the cousin of Muhammad and his brother-in-law, they came to visit him, he says, وَأَمَّا إِبْنُ وَأَمِّي فَقَدَهَتَكَ عَرْضِي Regarding my cousin, he did rape me. Now, do we have any Muslim would like to call? Mayday, mayday. Allah knows best. You know, when I when I see those uh, website, I wonder, like, I mean, uh, is the Muslims are really serious? Do they really think that they can fool people? Yes, they can. There's many naive people out there, and they are dummy to the point anyone can fool them. You see, human being, yeah, it might look for you that, you know, I mean, some things are really stupid. But for some people, it is really, um, it's not stupid. And we are here to help those who they are, let us say, don't have too much education and maybe they don't have the same uh, intellect level and it's not for you not sure not, not your fault if you are not really I mean educated or um, I, I believe that every human being is is a child of his uh, society at the end of the day when you associate with a bunch of ignorant I mean you are going to turn to be the same and this is goes for me and you you know uh, if you grow up in a in a place where everybody is, uh, you know, I mean, very well educated, talking to them, just talking to those educated people, you know, you became educated. Associating with the fool will make you a fool. And the same as the saying, like bad apple make twenty five good apples bad. So imagine if you are a good apple between bad apples. So which means you are the only good apple, and you are a child. You will turn the same as they are. They are. Uh, somebody's asking me are you from Lebanon or from Syria my friend I'm black blonde African American from Japan looking for a brand new wife between the age of six to nine according to Allah and Halal I hope I didn't answer you now who is a Muslim would like to give us a call and tell us why you Muslim says that Allah knows best when Allah is very horrible in knowledge Hmm? Instead of focusing, where are you from, Christian Prince? What about we ask where this Allah is coming from? I mean, how silly, how funny this Allah is. Hmm? And look, everybody is guessing where I am from. Suddenly, all of them they are expert where Christian Prince is from. They don't even know who I am. Yesterday I was an ex-Muslim. The day before I was an Egyptian. The day before I was an Iraqi. Actually, there's a guy he accused me to be Iranian. It's an accusation these days to be Iranian. Mm -hmm. Sound interesting. Now, do we have any Muslim would like to give us a call? Yes or no? Hmm? The only thing I know that Muslims they love me to death. This is the only fact I know. And when I say the word death, I mean it literally. Hmm. Actually, I think my roots I am an Indian because I like spicy food. And when I talk, I shake my head. I wish the camera is on now. You see my head is shaking. No. 
and I like based on this knowledge I think I am Indian I love to be I love I love Indian people they are very nice people and they have a very nice spicy food once I was invited to a doctor and he told me because I am not to use it to eat spicy he told his wife not to make it spicy and boy oh boy I spend the lunch drinking water I was sweating like as if I am in the sauna and he asked me are you okay I said sure sure I can't even talk I can't even talk and supposedly he did not add any spice I mean like little tiny it's like a touch oh boy I know Indian food is the best It's the best way to lose weight are you kidding me you sweat what you don't sweat in 10 years you know, I was drinking water after water. I said to me, sound like you like too much water. I said, I love it. Your water heat is so good. <laughs> anyway, so actually, uh, I just heard yesterday that India attacked the terrorist in the in the, the in Pakistan, and you know, the Pakistani government they said we are ready to defend our soil. Are you okay? hello I mean here we go they went inside and they emptied their 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 missiles in your land and they killed more than 300 terrorists we are ready to defend our soul oh when you are going to do that hello no. it's like a Muslim he says like Erdogan yesterday he says inshallah if not Turkey nobody defend Jerusalem inshallah you're right Erdogan, Jerusalem is just uh, less than two hour flight from your country. You know, I mean, what are you waiting for? Anyway, so do we have any Muslim would like to call us? Have you ever had yellow curry? No, I have a brown, but you know, I can make it yellow. It's very easy. Yeah. Just uh, I will put the curry in front of the computer. He will watch any video of ISIS behaving human beings, and the curry will turn yellow. Praise be to Allah, brother. Allah is so happy now. The funny there's a Muslim he posts in the text saying that you Christians celebrate a human sacrifice. We? When? How? How? We? Abdul, it is you who you know celebrate a human sacrifice. Allah, He rejoice for killing thousands and millions. In our belief, my friend, we did not sacrifice anyone. You are stupid. Sacrificing a human is you carrying a human being, putting him to sacrifice him and chop his head or whatever you do to him. That is a human sacrifice. This is what you do. For us, we did not do that. For us, you will see that. Even according to Quran, you idiot, it says that the Jews says we killed the Messiah. It's not the Messiah. He said, hey, Jews, kill me. It's not the Christians say, hey, Jews, kill the Messiah. We need to sacrifice him. But in your religion, Allah, he says that kill them. Kill them. Allah punish them by your hands and heal the chest of the Abdul, which means a lot of hate inside you. So your God, he rejoiced for slaughtering a human being. It is you. Who enjoy a human sacrifice not only human sacrifice but a human torture now oh, we can prove it call me silence me answer me hmm? do we have any Abdul what happened to this guy he is downloading Skype I mean He is calling me. Uh, maybe this guy. Hold on. I missed his call. Sorry. Mm, look like his connection is bad, my friend. Hello? Hello? 
Hello. Go ahead, we hear you. Okay, like so it looked like we got a Muslim, but his uh, connection is really horrible. Hello. Hello. Yes, how are you? I'm very well. How are you, my brother? I'm all right. So you are a Muslim, my friend? Well, uh, it depends how you define Muslim. Uh, yes, well, I was born in a family of a Muslim, mm -hmm. and I'm still a Muslim, mm -hmm. and I believe Islam in Islam. All right, that's wonderful. What Islam means? Pardon me? What Islam means? Hello, uh, speaker. Can you hear me, my friend? Do you hear me, my friend? Hello, yes. brother. Yes, my friend. So you said you are a Muslim. What the Muslim mean? Uh, Muslim for me, Muslim is somebody who oh. believes and submit his will mm. to Almighty God because. A Muslim is somebody who believes the will of God it should be done wow. in the heaven as the well as in the earth. Mm. Just like the way uh, Jesus placed uh, his will to Almighty God, say that I cannot do anything uh, uh, without my Father's will because my whatever I do, mm. whatever I breathe or I step I take is from my Father's will. And whatever I say is from my Father's will. Mm. So I believe every Muslim should believe Mm -hmm. uh, uh, in 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 the will of of of, of God Almighty. Mm -hmm. So well, somehow we have a free choice that we think we have a free will. But to be honest, free will as a Muslim it defines us like a free will belongs only to Almighty God. We have choices. Mm -hmm. God Almighty give us something small of a free will to human being called choices. They can choose whether they want to be good or bad. Mm -hmm. So a Muslim is being given a choice. So but. When when he says my will is, is from with God, whatever I do, I do for God, for the, for God's sake. Uh -huh. I eat for God's sake. I sleep for God's sake. I I, I wake up for God's sake. I mm -hmm. pray for God's sake. I give charity for God's sake. Mm -hmm. Then you submit your will to Almighty God. This is the submission, true submission to God. Mm -hmm. And this is a Muslim. This is the definition of somebody who follow this criteria of the submission of a Muslim. This is as far as I was taught, and this is the way I understood as all the prophets mm. from from Adam, from Abraham, from Ishmael, Jacob, uh, and and and, and uh, David, and Job, and Moses, and and uh, Solomon, and uh, King David, and 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 uh, Sol and 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 was uh, Jesus and Muhammad and peace and blessing be upon and on the pious people, the John, mm. and uh, you know all those people who understood God. Say, for example, a Chinese person, a Buddhist man doesn't understand what the definition of his God is mm. different, different the way he was taught. And a mm. Christian definition of God, the way they've been taught is different. Mm. And a Jewish, the way they, you see, Jewish is different, different the way they okay, talk. So I personally I mean, think, I my scripture is telling me that Islam is just like any other religion was friend, revealed before hello. it. Hello, it's the right? same as the other religion. So it's, it's actually confirming Christianity, it's confirming <laughs> Buddhism, and it's confirming atheism, and it's confirming all other religion, paganism. And all this religion, when you put together in one together in, in category, in one basket, hmm. is called A double L in English, it's called all. Okay, if, can, if I, can I tell my Because the now? word all in English is. Because even in the hey, Bible, hey, listen, you know, it says uh, yeah, in the beginning, can I the talk? word. Can I talk? And the word. Can I, are you listening? Are you listening? I'm listening, I give you the, the minute, uh, 15 minutes ago, and you keep talking, 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 but you said no, nothing. It's not 15 minutes, about four, four, four minutes, actually. Okay, okay but you said nothing, you know, you uh, keep going. Honest, Suddenly, we are talking about the Chinese and, now. Uh, I know, but we're trying to, we we try, talk, you try to say 15 minutes, but to be honest, same time. I can just, I know my time, because... We in me, I write talk. diaries, I write everything, I, I write as well, listen, listen. So I, and I'm a researcher, so I know a minutes, researcher, I, I count talking, you my said time nothing. Well, after four, it's not 15 minutes, after four minutes, okay, you said nothing, after four minutes, you said nothing, after four minutes, you said nothing, give you 10 minutes, and I will prove that everything you say to us is absolutely false, the verse in the front of us, chapter 49, verse number 14, 
it says that you have nothing to do with you believing in Islam and Allah it's about you have no faith yet you surrender to Allah this is what Islam means it's not submission or it's not to accept the will of Allah is to surrender to Muhammad and the verse in the front of you, I want you to read it. It says, Not to Muhammad, you see, I'm a Muslim, you're not a Muslim, my brother. Friend, I'm a Muslim. Let me, let me finish, For me, me I don't surrender to Prophet Muhammad. No problem, it's a no sin, problem, it's a big no problem, sin to wait, surrender. Let me, let you're putting words into my mouth, first of all, that's a lie. And I told you, you. I was telling don't you that I surrender me. to Prophet Muhammad. I don't surrender. I surrender to the message that came from his mouth. Okay, okay, but I don't okay, surrender to him okay, because he said, Hello, do not make a mistake like Christian did, made a mistake the way. Okay. You will not let me talk, aren't you? I mean, what's wrong with you? Have patient. I will give you time. The verse in the front okay, of I'm us. I'm sorry, but my brother, verse, but just don't put words into my listen, mouth. Listen, no, I'm not putting. I'm not putting. I'm not putting words in your mouth. You say that uh, Islam means sub to submit to Allah. That is not a true. Yeah. The verse in the front yeah, of us. Islam you, is to submit to the, the will of God. Chapter, 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 chapter to say, Allah, 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 okay. Allah, Allah, Muhammad, Rasulullah. To say, I testify and I bear witness that there is no worthy to be worshipped except the Almighty God, the Jesus who worshipped to the Muhammad who worshipped to the Abraham who worship to the Adam who worship to the Sun and the moon and the whole galaxy the one who's worshiping to so this is where first, it is of, all, is called first of all you are a liar and this is not the Shahada Shahada is to say that there's no God but Allah and Muhammad is a prophet why you are adding Jesus and, and the, Moses and that's what I'm trying to no, you are a fabricator you are a fabricator now listen listen how you can witness to Allah I testify hey 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 to be worshipped in this world, except Allah, Allah, the Almighty God, the one who has no need for anybody. That's what it means. You need, you need, you are a liar. Otherwise, why are you are associating the name of Allah? You are not calling you a liar. You are calling me a liar. Listen, my brother, listen to me. You are a liar. You are not calling me a liar. Why you are calling me a liar? Because why am I calling you a liar? Because I don't want to disrespect you. You are telling me I'm a liar. I know myself I'm not a liar. This is what I was taught. This is what I've learned. And no. this is what I've, I've studied, and this is what I do. What is I alive. believe in Jesus Christ, but you don't believe in Prophet Muhammad. You believe in God Almighty. I believe in God Almighty. I believe in Prophet Muhammad. You don't believe in Prophet Muhammad. The only difference between you and me, eh? Personally, if God Almighty right now, if He's listening to us, saying that you do, be, do you believe in Jesus Christ? I believe in Jesus Christ. Why? No, don't. Because I was taught to believe in no, Jesus Christ. Don't. Otherwise, I am not supposed to be a human being. Okay. You understand where I'm coming okay. from? Can because you, we agree? existed long Listen, time ago in the I history, I in the books, in the Bible, and everything. I and do. even Prophet Muhammad as well. Hey, 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 and someone who taught something good in this world, something like. For example, stupid, yeah, and you have no courage to talk well, to like me. An eye for an eye. You, you are a coward. You will not let me talk. You are afraid that I will talk. This is the whole point. You are like a sewage. We open the, the, the cover and the whole shit is coming out. What's wrong with you? How we can talk like this? Since you call me, until now, I said nothing. I say two words. You say 1,000 words. I will call you back and you need to agree. I will give you two minutes. You give me only one minute. Two minutes for you, one minute for me. What an idiot. Because he's scared. <laughs> Answer, answer now. Let us see how you can do it. Hello? Listen, do you agree that I give you two minutes, you give me one minute? Is that okay for you? Okay. Do you promise? Do you promise? Do you promise not to not to disturb my conversation? One minute for me, two minutes for you. Do you promise as a man? I promise as a man. Okay, I'm going to put the clock in the in the screen. You know, so everybody right. can see what we are talking about and we can see the clock. Are you seeing my YouTube? Okay, fair enough. Okay. Now, my friend, when I say something to you, I'm not putting words in your mouth. I will start my 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 uh, my minutes here. I will put it in the clock and in the clock. 
when one minute for me is over I will stop talking right. you take the mic and you have then one minute from your side is that fair right. well, fair enough all right let me start here here we go why my one minute is started already and pe people they can see it in the screen now right. you said that you as a person you worship the same God of the Messiah the same God of Musa the same God of uh, uh, etc first of all in your Quran there's no no mention of the Messiah the one we know the one in the Quran his name is Isa and we do not know who is Isa his grandfather let, you promise you promise not to dis disturb yes okay okay and, and and the one in the Quran his name is Isa his grandfather his name is Umran we do not know such a person his mother his name is Mary and she is the sister of Aaron and Umran have the he is the father of Aaron too according to Quran so you are not speaking about the same person same time you said that we believe that God he gave us choices that is a big fat lie you're a prophet he said it clearly that you believe in destiny and Allah he wrote your faith 40 years before he created you you said that we are Muslims who believe in God but as you see the verse in the front of you it says that you surrender to Allah but you have no faith chapter 49 verse number 14 now can you please answer the mic is yours my brother first of all let me clarify Quran you see the Quran that you're just reading and you're just trying to say tell, telling me to clarify yeah. this is a holy scripture one word that you trying to translate the Quran it has a lot of meaning in a different type in a different language I'm gonna give you an example for example for example Iqra, the first revelation that came, came to Prophet Muhammad peace and blessing be upon him it was a word called Iqra. it was not like salamu alaikum or la ilaha illallah or hello how are you or slang it was Iqra. in in in, in Arabic term terminology in Arabic uh, at the time Arabic was one of the greatest language in Arabia it was um, they, they used to compete with the poetic and the points and stuff like that but with the word Iqra at the time he was the first man speaking and saying in his word even Arab the Arab at the time they didn't know what the meaning Iqra was until today no one can can say that this word I came with this word Iqra so now they're trying to analyze the word this Iqra the, the poetic at, at that time you know what it means in, in, in English it means read it means research it means proclaim it means do basically it one word it has a, a, a variety of meaning just one word just this that's why it's called a revelation one word can have a lot of meaning for example it means read research proclaim repeat what i'm saying say like for example when a child it was is told by a, a teacher say a a b b c c d d it's called repeating like you know what i'm saying so so this revelation this one word it has a lot of meaning you understand so whenever you understand the way if you read i read quran more than 100 times and every time i read quran i understand different and every time i read again i understand even better than i understand before and when i read again I, from the beginning and I, 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 it's like a vast knowledge, like an ocean. It's like I'm, I'm a fish, I'm swimming into it. So you cannot tell me I can, I will understand the whole ocean from east to west, if that's what I'm trying to tell you. So Quran is a revelation, it's a final and last testament of holy Bible, you call it, but I call it holy Furhan because i accept the holy bible so me i'm like a last child of the family if you don't accept me as the last child of the family just like the way you have accepted the last child of jesus christ i have accepted jesus christ was the last child but i have accepted as a prophet muhammad peace and blessing be upon him as a comforter my comforter when jesus christ says say in the bible i have many things to say unto you but you cannot bear it now when he the spirit of the truth when he shall come he shall guide you to the truth and he shall not speak for himself he shall only speak for what he hears from my father you understand so this okay, comforter is, they change the name if you look at uh, this your word time, comforter the only cat criteria your that time, we as a muslim your time, believe in your Jesus time Christ, is up the people that made your us time to is up believe in your Christ. time okay. is up okay sorry brother. okay listen you just said and now it's my time i will start the timer again here we go people they can see all right okay now all you right. said that Muhammad is the spirit of a truth and that mean you Muslims are false Muslims because Muhammad is not a spirit He is a man. So why you lie? This is number one Number two, I showed you okay. don't okay. don't disturb you promise a man. You are a man. Keep your promise And Fair you enough. said hold on you said That 
you as a Muslim you believe in the Bible which is a lie number three the verse I gave you in the front of you in the screen or what you said to me people they have different a translation or etc I mean who don't care who care about the translation read whatever translation you want the verse in the front of me says that Allah says to the Arab you say we surrender to Allah which means they say Shahada say you are a Muslim but you don't have faith so according to Islam you do not need to have faith you need just to say Shahada and because Muslims are kuffar they worship a God and associate his name with the man because of that, the whole purpose is to believe in the man, not to believe in the God. This is why if you believe in Allah, but you don't believe in Muhammad, you still you are kuffar. Because Muhammad, the whole point of using the name of Allah is to make himself equal to God. Now, I want you to give me the mic. And please don't give me a speech. Answer the verse in the front of you in the screen. How Allah, he says, don't say that we are believers. Say we are Muslims. For faith never enter your heart. How you can be a Muslim, yet Allah call you Muslim, yet there's no faith in your heart in Muhammad or in Allah. The mic is yours. First of all, you say to me about the I told you about earlier about the comforter when Jesus Christ prophesies about prophet that the spirit, the truth that will come. And you see, uh, let me analyze about the spirit of the truth. You see, every human being in their body in that makes them alive is they have a spirit. Every human being, first of all, they have a spirit. You can have a bad spirit, good spirit, or right spirit, a disability spirit, uh, whatever kind of spirit you can have. But you see. When Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, his soul, his spirit, the, the ruh, I'm talking about the soul, the spirit, yeah? The, when Prophet Jesus, peace and blessing be upon him, says, when he, the comforter, he shall come, he shall speak. You see the word he, he, he is an English language. It's not, it's not I'm not saying it is or oh. I'm saying he. So the word he is a man and a spirit, the word a man has a spirit. Every human being has a spirit. When the spirit comes out from your body, you are a dead person. So what I'm trying to tell you that Prophet Muhammad, we believe he was the comforter that Prophet Jesus, peace and blessing be upon him, that prophesied about it, that he said, I have many things to say unto you, but you cannot understand it now because your mind is so narrow but when he the spirit of the, and I, he the spirit of the truth when he shall come he shall guide you to the truth he shall not speak for himself he shall only speak for what he hears from my father and he shall glorify me you understand what i'm coming from so when he speaks about he he is a prophet muhammad we as a muslim we believe uh, and 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 everybody believe that 1.8 billion Muslim right now is not a magic followers. You okay, can't find Instagram 1.8 billion followers. Your two, your two minutes yeah, is my, up. my time is up. Yes, your two minutes is up. Listen, okay, you just okay. said, and everybody heard you, that he will glorify okay. me. That's mean Fair you enough. just admitted that Jesus is God and Muhammad is worshiping Jesus. Because nobody should have don't, 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 don't disturb, don't disturb. You promise as a man. You promise as a man. You promise as a man. Don't break your promise. Don't break your promise, potato. You are not a man to keep your promise. Stop, 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 stop talking. Keep your promise. Keep your promise. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. When I'm you sorry. say, I just want to when, share when, you no, you cannot show me. You finished. And, 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 let me and, talk. And, and, and Please stop. We have you are taking now from my time. You are. You have a mental illness or what? You promise me as a man. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. okay. Now enough. listen. You said that Muhammad is going to glorify enough. him. He will glorify Jesus. How you glorify Jesus unless he is God? Man should not glorify a man. Should glorify God only. You just admitted that Jesus is God and Muhammad worshiping Jesus. This is number one. Number two, let me, let me, don't disturb. Okay. This is my time. And number two, okay. why you are avoiding to answer about this verse in the front of you, which it says that you can be a Muslim, but yet you have no faith neither in Allah, neither in Muhammad. What kind of cult this cult is? The God of this cult says to you, you call yourself a Muslim. I call you Muslims. Don't say that we are a believer. Say we are Muslims. This is what the verse saying. You claim that you read the Quran. You claim that you read the Quran. I, I challenge you to read the verse for me in Arabic and tell me what it says. It says that you say that we are Muslims. See, you are a Muslim, but faith never enter your heart. Now explain to me how in the world a God, he accepts you to be a Muslim, 
but yet faith never enter your heart and the mic is yours first of all you need to understand my brother man man what is faith what is faith to you according to you is different according to chinese is different according to everybody is different you understand man iman the way we muslim believe what is faith amantu billahi wa malaikatihi wa kutubihi wa rusulihi wal yawmil akhir wa qairi qadrihi wa sharrihi min allah ta'ala the faith the real faith of a muslim is to believe that there is nobody to be worshiped except allah azza wa jalla the one who sees everything that we can't see him but he surely sees us this is the the greatest faith the greatest iman a supernatural iman we believe in allah a double l the creation of a double l the creation of all including jesus including everybody from the beginning to the end so what i'm trying to tell you my brother a, a in the beginning and in the present and the past if you put together in one basket is becoming a double l in english word is all even in the future will become all if you put together so the word all and if if you if you add a h which is at the word ah the word ah is uh, is is a definition of every child when is born their mother they have to scream the word ah as if they're trying to praise some some echo of a vibration of ah ah like you know when the pain comes or when the where, where it's, it's like a it's, it's like a supreme being they could they call it. even any chinese any kind of language they have to say ah ah if consciousness so the word a double l which is all of us all of us together we put together and you add the word ah everybody a child when is born he say ah ah so when you put together you it becomes allah you understand where i'm coming from so what i'm trying to tell you uh, 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 jesus christ okay, worship your time is up. allah he says time is up. Allah, 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 your time is up allah 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 you idiot you are mentally ill ah uh, ah uh, it sounds like a sex movie you idiot i say to you how allah he says you say we surrender to allah we became muslim the word surrender here in arabic is we are muslims but yet there's no faith into your heart how you can call somebody a muslim but you have no faith in his heart neither in allah or muhammad and what you give me a speech about about ah ah and what is the definition of belief suddenly the de de belief need definition believe is to believe but because you are a coward you are a gun machine you have nothing to say you start saying things have nothing to do w l w l l l l what is that what this is even have to do with my topic i will call you back you are not being a man you are not keeping your promise you promise that when your time is up, you will give me the mic. Shame on you. And have fun. <laughs> it's like a recording machine you know he do not know what he's talking about and what he's talking about have nothing to do with our topic he's just trying to cover up the stupidity in the quran how the quran says that you are you have you have no faith and allah called them muslims he's saying to them don't say don't say we believe say we are muslims how you can be how does God he say don't say you are you are you have a belief say we are Muslim I don't know what happened to him <laughs> and Muhammad is the converter who will glorify Jesus and he is a spirit who will live with us forever they are I told you that Muslim they think Muhammad is God because the Bible speak about a spirit who will stay with us forever Muhammad is dead in the grave, you idiot. And Muhammad is not a spirit. <clears throat> He's a human being. 
when you say to me every human being have a spirit that will not make you a spirit you idiot having a spirit does not make you spirit the spirit is your soul according to Islam and you having a soul does not make you a soul you are a certified idiot but because they are desperate to find their false prophet in our book and by the way why Muhammad did not say the Bible mentioned my name to be a spirit in the Bible why the Muslim they discover that but Muhammad the idiot he could not find it hmm why Muhammad did not say to them Muhammad is in the song of songs Ahmad Didat was making fun of the song of songs claiming that this is a porn book for more than 20 years there's tons of videos of Ahmad Didat making fun of the song of songs saying do you do you read the song of songs for your children suddenly somebody told him that in the in, in the song of songs in the Hebrew it says Muhammad and then suddenly Muhammad uh, song of songs became a holy song he's not answering but you see because they are coward they will not stop talking he's afraid and he will not answer this verse you notice I show him this verse how you can be how Allah he says to you be a Muslim say we are Muslims for you don't have faith and you don't believe how you can be a Muslim then because he forced him into Islam I don't know what happened to him it says he is uh, calling me but I cannot you know I cannot receive any call from him hold on maybe because I am in disturbed mood let us see hold on <clears throat> <clears throat> I'm trying to call him too. See? <laughs> All right. Who is next? And you know, in the top of that, you have to accept that the one who sent the Spirit is the Father of Jesus, the Christ, and Jesus too. But you Muslims don't believe in the Father and don't believe in the Son. Do you accept that Jesus is the one who sent your prophet? Do you? <laughs> Certified ignorance. Idiots desperately looking for a place for their prophet but they cannot find him they cannot even find their prophet to be a prophet in their books so how he will be a prophet in my book who is a muslim when a call you notice by the way the reason they speak fast and they don't stop because they are in a panic mood he know he's speaking to christian prince if I let this guy talk only Allah knows what will happen so I better not to let him talk and when you say ah ah what is that ah ah is Allah this is the best comedy show ever. Who would I watch cable TV anymore? <laughs> ah, ah, it sounds like a playboy. So when somebody say ah, ah, he said Allah, Allah. That is something. Call me, call me, ah, ah, call me back. The caller mic is so loud. What I would do then? Hello. Hey, Abdul. You see, you are breaking your promises. 
I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm no, sorry, my, my friend, you cannot do that. You are a man. You know, you are a man. You are presenting Islam now. The people they will be wondering why this Muslim keep his promise, keep pro you know, breaking his promise. Don't, it's not a promise. Come, okay. come let's now come it's down. my time. Let me talk, please, and please respect your promise. When I say to you, it's your time, don't make me shout. I'm losing my voice. This is not nice. Okay, now I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's I my time now. Let me, start, let me start. Let me start the clock. Okay, here we go. The clock started. My time, my friend. The verse in the front of us says that the Arab they say is we believe Allah said to them say you do not believe rather say we are Muslims How in the world? We have a religion it says you can say you are a Muslim But you should not say you you believe for faith never enter your heart And you gave me a speech about definition of believe believe is to believe either you believe or you don't believe so when you say I say Shahada, that's mean you are telling me what you believe in. Those people they say Shahada, and they are now Muslims. And Allah He saying to them, say you are Muslim, but don't say we believe for faith never enter your heart. Which means Islam is religion of hypocrisy. It teach you to be a hypocrite and to stay hypocrite. All what Allah He want from you, which is Muhammad in this case, He want you just to say, I am a Muslim. You believe you don't? Who care? And as you see the verse in the front of you, and now I'm going to stop my clock so you can start yourself. Okay. And okay. the mic, all, we, we need to understand, brother. Okay, the mic is yours now. The mic uh, is yours, uh, my friend. The, the, mic. Verse, the verse was revealed in Makkah, and it was a long time ago that was revealed at the time of, uh, of uh, uh, at the time of Jahiliyyah, the time of uh, the ignorance, the time of the Arabs at that time. Arab, they, they were pagan, they had no religion at that time whatsoever. They used to rob and all that. Prophet Muhammad was a mercy, was sent as a messenger to them to the community to stop uh, what what they were doing. So when Prophet Muhammad was weak at the time, uh, nobody was listening to him. Everybody used to stone him and to beat him. Everybody used to call him mental, crazy, uh, you know. Until until uh, when uh, Allah Azza wa Jalla gave him power, uh, slowly slowly he rise up. And then when the vice the verse was revealed, those hypocrites of Muslims, they want they they, 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 they the, the Arabs. They, they thought, hold on a minute, if they, we can't beat them, we should join them. So they say, we are believers, we believe in you. And then they, they were told, you cannot become a believer, you have to become a Muslim first to submit yourselves like your wills, you understand? So Islam, a Muslim, to be a Muslim is, is, is like a one step. And then once you become a Muslim, and then you become a mu'min. And then when you become a mu'min, the more you practice, you become a muhsin. And then the more you practice muhsin, you become a muttaqin. And then the more you become a muttaqin, you become mursaleen. It's like a stage. It's like a stairs. You know, it's like a stairs. So Islam is a foundation. It's like, you know, the house when you build a house. Islam, Muslim, to be a Muslim, is like a foundation. Everybody's born as a Muslim, as a child. No matter where you are from, whether... Whether Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, whether you're Christian or you're you're, you're pagan, whether whatever you are, before you the age of puberty, you are fitra, meaning you are a Muslim. You are you you ha you don't have no because you have no understanding of your own. You are learning from him or whom him on all that. You understand where I'm coming from. So what I'm trying to tell you now, that verse is trying to refer the jahiliya of those people, the hypocrite people, and you can't apply it to right right now, sir. So, I'm not. I'm, I'm not an Arab. I'm an African. I'm from Bilal Ibn Rabah. I'm from Ethiopia. So I, I, I'm a Muslim. You understand? So even though I am, I'm not an Arab, but I'm a Muslim. I believe in Islam. I and at the same time, I believe in in Jesus Christ because Islam is forcing me to believe in in, in Isa alayhi salatu was salam peace okay, and blessings be upon him. Your time is up, my friend. Your time is up. Okay. So now, fair enough. All right, my friend. You said, and everybody heard you, that you convert yes. to Islam first, and then you believe. That's mean Allah is a hypocrite, not the, the not the one who convert you said those Arab they say to themselves like let, let, you promise not to disturb your promise keep your promise okay, okay? now you said that those Arab they converted to Islam because they said to themselves we cannot beat Muhammad so we better convert to Islam otherwise he will you know will kill us so they converted and this is what you are caring for that's all what you need is just have somebody to say I convert and later you become a Muslim doesn't matter okay now you convert you say I'm Muslim but you, don't, you believe, believe you will come later and this is the mm -hmm. point Islam is a religion of filthy killing and threatening people and forcing them into Islam and you are the one who said that everybody is by, by witness you we force them into Islam at the first step just say we are Muslim then the faith will come later have you ever heard of a cult like this you convert to a religion but we don't have faith number two you said 
that you know uh, uh, I, I am a black Muhammad he hate the black people how you can be a black person Muhammad he owned many black slaves as an example he called Bilal a raising head how in the world you make fun of a human being he is a black you're a prophet he said the most person Allah he hate is a black person how you can believe in such a thing why Allah he hate a person who is a black why the most enemy for Allah is a black person shaitan is a black the one who destroyed the Kaaba is a black the most person Allah he hate is a black and Allah created the black people to go to hell the mic is yours first of all my brother I don't even know your name, but I love talking to you and I would love to make you understand exactly um, uh, Christian Prince, I start thinking your name is Christian Prince. <laughs> First of all, I want to thank you so much to ask you this beautiful question. Hmm. Let's come uh, to the Bilal Ibn Rabah. Hmm. First of all, every mosque uh, that we have a lot about how many thousands and thousands of mosques around the world, and we pray five times a day all over the world in mosques. Okay. And every prayer that you pray, no, without adhan, meaning Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Mm -hmm. It's no, he was not the founder of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. This mm -hmm. beautiful voice, the, vo the adhan. Even Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessing be upon him, pointed a finger to Bilal ibn Rabah saying this beautiful calling, it is honored by Allah Azza wa Jalla to be given this slave of, of uh, this slave and servant of Allah Azza wa Jalla. So Bilal was not a slave and a servant of Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessing be upon him. So Bilal was actually a best friend, a companion of Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessing be upon him. I'm a Muslim. First of all, I don't hate my religion. Neither do I hate Christianity. Neither do I hate Judaism. For me, basically, I believe in Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, in the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. You understand? You guys believe whatever you want to believe. You want to believe it for the Holy, the Father, the Son, whatever. I, I was not taught because of the, the that type of a division. I was told Allah is one, the merciful and the just. Mm -hmm. So to come to Bilal ibn Rabah, we're speaking, Bilal has, the, the, he has the most honor. He's, he, he might be dead right now, but his voice is echo five times a day. Before you wake up, all over the world, people are making this adhan. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, as if Bilal's voice is still echoing like a, more than as any other sound in the world. And no prayer in Islamic prayer is allowed without Bilal's call, meaning a black man call. Okay, my friend, you understand? Your time is so Islam time itself, is it belongs to a black your man because the, the, the Islam your time, you go your time is up. Your time is up. I'm sorry. Okay. My friend, Continue. everything you said to us is false because Bilal was a slave, not a friend. And here we go, the hadith in the front of you, and this is Sahih hadith, that your prophet, he ordered Bilal to do the adhan because he is the only slave between those white men. And Bilal was bought by Abu Bakr. And Bilal, he big Abu Bakr says, if you bought me for the sake of Allah, Will you free me for the sake of Allah? If you bought me for yourself, then keep me for yourself. And Muhammad, he died and Bilal is still a slave. Have you ever heard of somebody? He is a friend of somebody, yet he own him as a slave. I want to friend you, my friend, but I want to own you. What kind of a friendship is that? Why you are lying? So here we see that Bilal is nothing but a poor slave who worked for Muhammad to do everything for him because he is the only slave. He is going to wake up early morning, go to the roof and start screaming, losing his voice. But the white Arab man, he will never do that. Why Muhammad did not order Abu Bakr? Why Muhammad did not do the Adhan? Because all of them, they want to sleep and they want to rest. But the poor Bilal, who is a slave, he is the one who will do the job. Now you did not answer me. Why you are a prophet believe that every person is a black is an enemy for Allah? Did your prophet kill the black dogs? Why the black dogs are the enemy of Allah? The mic is yours. First of all, my brother, you are a liar. You are a hypocrite. You are, you are, you, you, you told me basically, I am a black man. Prophet told me I'm a slave and are we all slave. Prophet free us at the time of a slavery. Bilal was a slave. He was bought and he was freed. If you didn't understand the hadith, if you didn't learn the hadith, don't tell people a lies. I beg you, please don't call me a liar. I'd never called you a liar, but now you're forcing me to call you a liar because you're telling me things that you, you didn't even study properly, my brother. You see, uh, there's, a table has four angles. A Kaaba has four angles. People, you see, one angle is from the other side, one angle of this side, and other angle of this side, and other this angle of this side. Perhaps, maybe you are just talking of that one, that angle. 
are you done well here we go your prophet he said your your Bilal said to, to Abu Bakr if you bought me for the sake of Allah will you free me for the sake of Allah so who's lying I want you in the front that of everybody. Lie, I don't, you, are, you cannot are. prove Hold me on, my, time, my, time, my, time, my, my time, my time, my time, my time, my time, my time, my time. I want you to show me, I want you to show me. I want you to hold on. You, you are breaking your promise. You broke your promise. You broke your promise. You broke your promise. You are a coward. 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 Allah is one. God it's is my one. time. God is I don't one. care if you God Allah is one or ten. Listen, it's my time. It's my time. It's my time. Listen, the hadith in front of you. Show me the hadith where it says Muhammad he free Bilal, and I will make you my hero. It's a challenge in the front of every Muslim in the world. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Okay. I want you in the front of everybody. To show me the hadith where it says that the prophet of Islam Muhammad he freed Bilal. I have a, a, a hadith in front of me which is Sahih from Sahih al Bukhari. Bilal begging for his freedom, which means they are not freeing him. Now, I want you to show me the hadith that Muhammad he freed Bilal. It's a challenge, the mic is yours. Muhammad bought Bilal and freed him. Show us, go on to research. Show us. No, don't tell me, sir. You are the Muslim who told me. How can I you are the one who told me. You don't even face to face. You, I you are a liar, you, my brother. You see, you you are putting words, your own your own understanding into people's head. It's not like that. You have Lord, to give please, me the proof. We have 1.8 billion followers. I don't care here. about 1.8, but yet you Muhammad have more proof of what you say. This is not the one question. Of, both of them, one of them is from Africa, one of them from Asia. Abdul, you know Abdul, that the DNA, Abdul, the DNA. Abdul, 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 Basically, Bilal was from Ethiopia, and, uh, and 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 the whole Islamic concept is is a salah, is a prayer five times a day, daily prayer. The whole Islamic concept. Just get lost. When you debate a Christian prince, either you prove what you say or get lost. In the front of me, the poor Bilal is a slave. If you if you're a prophet, is a good man, he will not even have him as a slave, as you said, because you lie to us. You say Bilal was a friend of the prophet. How he is a friend of the prophet? And yet Bilal he died as a slave and even if you say to me he freed him later show me as you claim Show me the Sahih Hadith. I'm showing you Sahih Bukhari There's no way that Bilal was freed and such a th story will not be mentioned Your prophet is mentioned how to clean his ass in the Hadith He used three rocks do Bilal worth to speak about his free Or it was freeing him the ass of your prophet have a thousand hadith. Why we cannot find the hadith about Bilal being freed by your prophet? So you are a hypocrite and you say to me, search it, search it. <laughs> search it. <laughs> the one is trying to call me. Are you a Muslim? Are you a Muslim? You see how they right away they, they escape the disaster. Do you see it? Now, when you say to me that Muhammad he is a friend to Bilal, but yet Muhammad, as you claim. He said that the most man Allah he hate is a black man. You need to explain to us. When Muhammad even he killed animals just because they are black, you need to explain to us. When Muhammad he says that the white de white dog is fine. The yellow dog is fine, but the black dog need to be killed. When Muhammad he says, kill every pure black animal. You need to explain to us speaking about Muhammad that he was nice to the black but yet he was owning tons of slaves even having sex with them they asked the Prophet of Allah what's what's wrong with the black dog he said the black dog is the devil 
so they keep talking 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 but they have no proof and they have no reference of anything they are speaking of Muhammad he made slavery a business a lifestyle the caliphate of the Muslims they own tens of thousands of slaves Muhammad himself he received a chapter it's called the chapter of At-Tahrim because once he forbid himself from raping a slave he owned so Allah supposedly sent him a verse says why you are forbidding what Allah made law for for you what Allah made law for for you to do boom boom to your slaves and you notice that this guy who tried to defend Islam he just approve what we always say and I hope people will copy his video and share it around that in Islam you do not need yes you do not need to believe first you convert to Islam and then you became a believer later <laughs> and he said those Arab they said to themselves well we cannot beat Muhammad which means he will kill us actually the story is more than this Muhammad he sent them a threat he says either you convert to Islam or I will kill you either you convert to Islam or I will kill you And then those people they said to themselves well he will kill us and this is can be found in chapter 48 verse number 16 say to the Arab say to them those who live behind they don't want to join Muhammad you will be called against folk of mighty war to kill you until they surrender do you see it until what you surrender that is Islam and this is what it says in Arabic. In Arabic, doesn't say by the way, like the word here, surrender, is exactly the word Yuslimun. So the real word of Islam is not submission. We hear many people they keep saying submission. I heard that from even Sam Shamun, from David Wood, from James White, from everybody. But the fact it does not say that it is surrender. Yes, Abdul. Did you find me the reference that your prophet he frees Bilal? No, now I can see on the screen everything. Now I can see on the screen what you're talking about. Now I can see a pro. Uh, I can see on the screen. Basically, did you find me the, the did not find me the reference that Bilal was freed by the prophet? Hello. 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 Are you there? Well, hello, can you hear me? Did you find me the Sahih Hadith where your prophet he freed Bilal, my friend? Did you find me the Sahih Hadith where it says that your prophet he freed Bilal? There's a Hadith going YouTube and check it out, yeah. Um, no, no, not in YouTube. Um, Give me a Hadith, not to me in YouTube, but YouTube. Give me the Hadith. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's a reference. Yeah. Mm. Bilal was was freed. Was told like when he was bought, was freed. Was telling to okay, go. I want to see that. Uh, so, can you show me the hadith? Can you give me the hadith number? Listen, listen, listen. Come on. How many hadiths do you know? I existed out there. How many hadiths? I'm asking a question. How many hadiths do you know all of together that exist? Doesn't matter. I want a hadith from you. I'm asking a question, I'm asking a question brother. Don't don't, do don't 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 change existed? the topic. I want you from. I want you to exactly. give me. I want you to give me a reference of Bilal being freed. What about Mary the Copt? She was afraid too. What about her cousin was afraid too? What about all the slaves Muhammad? They were afraid too. Muhammad he owned slaves and he raped them. Now I'm asking you. As a black you're person, right. you said to me, as, if you were as long as you don't want to answer, I am as, as I'm you asking you, I'm asking you. You, you see, you, 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 you lie to people. Please stop doing this. You have to prove it. You have to prove it. I'm lying. Where, I'm, you know? where I am lying. Wait. Where I am lying. And show me. Where, no, 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 no. Show me where I did lie. Go ahead. You say Muhammad raped a slave, his slave. Yes. If your eyes was there, was there, was seeing like. Yes. A do you want me to show you? Do you want to show you? Do you want me to show you? Do you want me? Speak something. Do you want me to show you? Do you want me to show you? You want me to show you proof? I want me. Okay. Here we go. The proof in the front of your eyes. The 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 proof in the front of your eyes. Here we go. Do you see it? 
This is your prophet. This is your prophet. This is your prophet attacking the tribes and raping the women. Don't speak about prophet. You can't say prophet Muhammad rape his women. Why are you Listen, there? You, why have, are you, why you, you have the answer. Time? I am showing you a reference. I am showing you a reference. Here we go. Hold on. That I am showing you in the screen reference. You're a prophet. He killed the men. He took the women and he took Jury and he reference. Show me sex reference that you will show. Show me sex reference that you saw. Would you saw that sex reference? I can make yes, it. Yes, it this, is, this is Sahil Bukhari. This is I am not making this is Sahil Bukhari. This is your book. Bukhari, let me tell you about Sahih. Just like the way John was was <laughs> uh, to, uh, so Sahil Bukhari now is bullshit, right? So Sahil Bukhari now, Sahil Bukhari is bullshit for you. Sahil Bukhari. So Sahil Bukhari is a bullshit. The Quran speaks about the Quran speaks about Sahil Bukhari. Tell me about something in the Quran. Don't tell me about something. So if about, I show you from the Quran, uh, what you will do? It's a reference. Okay, here we go. Okay, hold on. We will go to the Quran. It's like, guys, Sahil Bukhari is a liar. Sahil Bukhari is a liar. What about the Quran? What do you mean? Uh, Sahil Bukhari could be. How can it be a liar? Is something that for me a lie is something that does not exist. For me, something that exists, I can see. Okay, read with me. Abdul, 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 Abdul. How many times, how many, how many times the Quran says you can have sex with your right hand possess? Who are they the right hand possess? What do you mean? Have? The one you go, you went, you pay mahar, the one you married to, the one you made, the one you say, you're going to have my children in my air. Abdul, the who is the right hand possess? Stop lying. Who is the right hand possess? Is the, the right, is the feed. right hand the possess are they the slaves? That one, you're going to have sex with them and then produce your children and propagate. You understand? Abdul, I'm asking you. I'm asking you. Here we go. I'm asking you. Who is the right hand possess? Are they the slaves? Uh, well, if a slave was married to the owner, then you of course. Okay, hold on. Guys, if the slave is married to the owner, here the verse in the front of us it says, O Prophet of Allah, we made lawful for you your wives and your right hand possess. So they are not wives. All right. If of course, of course. Listen, hold on a minute. Let, let me let me stop you here. Yeah. Mm, stop Something me here. Yeah. You write for your own. Uh, say for example. Say for example. Hold on. Mm. Abraham, peace and blessing be upon him. Mm. When hi, uh, when Sarah had uh, when he couldn't have a child, and mm. then uh, Hagar was was helping her, and then say have this uh, like a like a slave. Mm. She was gonna have Ishmael. And then it had a Ishmael. Mm. You see, this is it was a slave. No, and then and then took to make Mecca, whatever you call it, Mecca right now. Mm. You see where I'm coming from. Yeah, so no, this no, is no, the, I don't see where I'm coming from. Yeah, no, no, I don't see where I'm coming from. Abraham, he did not do what Allah told him according to your Quran, did he? In my Bible, we don't have Allah, we don't believe in Allah. There's nowhere in my Bible, hold on, shut up. There's nowhere in the Bible that God said to Abraham, Go and have sex with a slave. It was Abraham doing that, and this is why. God, he was upset from uh, from from Abraham. So Abraham, he disobeyed God by having by having sexual relationship with a slave. And actually, and he married her. Listen, 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 listen. Now, now, listen. Answer me. Why you lie? Why you lie? And you say why you lie? Why? Hey, 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 potato, potato. Why you lie? You said in Islam we don't have sex with the slaves. Now you agreed. Why you lie to me? Just two minutes ago, you denied that your prophet was having sex with the slaves. And now you say, okay, I'm going to give you the example of Abraham. If everybody's a slave in Islam, we believe everybody's a slave to Allah. No, this is not a question. This is not a question. Stop lying. This is not a question. I'm talking about the slaves who they are called Mamalakat Aymanakum. Your right hand possess. Are you the right hand possess of Muhammad? Hold on, shut up. The liar, liar, liar. Are you, are you a right hand possess of Muhammad? So he can rape you. Say yes. Are you? How can I say yes? Why are you forcing me to well, you say are yes? saying to me? You because you are saying to me, all of us were slaves. Yes. You are saying to well, me, all of us were slaves. Shut up. Don't call me again. Don't call me again. You are a coward. You are a coward. There's no point of talking to you. I say to you, what is the right hand process? You say to me, this is not about slaves. Show me why you are lying. I show you Sahil Bukhari. You say to me, why you are lying. I showed you Sahil Bukhari. You said, who is Sahil Bukhari? There's millions of hadith. I show you Quran, and you don't want to answer. It says here, Allah made lawful for you, your wives and your right hand possess. So why you lie? You say Muhammad was not raping his slaves. And how you say to me that Muhammad, he freed the slaves. How he have them, but he's freed them. <laughs>
guys the Quran said to him it is lawful for you your wives and your right hand possess how he freed them but he have them and they are called right hand possess do you see how how silly they are and he will not answer me why his God even is is uh, is speaking about the black people as evil you do you notice he tried to ignore it we ask him why the black dog is a devil he do not answer because it's a shameful belief Muhammad he have a phobia with the black color How Muhammad he free people, but he owned them. And Allah, and obviously here the verse in the front of us, by the way, obviously Muhammad himself will fabricate this verse. Even it says any Muslim woman she can give her vagina to the Prophet. So he can F her, not to marry her. As you see, it says it is lawful for you, your wife, and then your wives, and then in the top of that he start counting. And one of his counting is right hand possess. And then any believing woman, she gave herself to the prophet. How are you talking, machine? Sorry, brother. I told my cousin, my uncle, to cooperate with the with him, so he's <laughs> gonna try to cooperate now. Yeah. Okay. Hello. Yes. So as you see, the verse in the front of us says that Muhammad he own right hand possess. Why brother, he own brother, you swear down. I have a blood pressure sometimes, but brother, but you 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 accusing you you abusing my prophet. Peace and blessing be upon him. I don't him. care. He's he is not my prophet. For me, he is a get, criminal. You know. I don't care. All it's the not, this is not my, we don't this is not our topic. Prophets, my Abdul, brother. We're all the power. same. They all bring the same message. No, we don't like believe in the same. Your God, Hammond, your God, he will make your penis uh, endless. We don't believe in such a God. Your, what kind of God? What kind of God? He sent a dish of shish kebab to his a prophet to make his penis strong. Can you answer me? What are you on about? I don't even understand what you say. You're a prophet. He says, I was the most weak person between mankind and sex. And I invoke Allah and he sent me a dish of shish kebab. I ate it. I get the power of 40 men. Now you tell me what kind of a prophet he is and what kind of God we are talking about. What book are you, you reading or what newspaper? Do you want me to show you the reference? No, I never had okay, this. Did, did, did you say, did you say my newspaper? Life, you're telling me okay, things okay, I never okay, heard okay, before. Okay, you're okay. putting things that I never hear before. I read Quran, I read Hadith. Sometimes you even misquote Hadith. You're telling me to add, you, 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 missed it. You, you, you put upside down the Hadith. Come on, my brother. Please, All right, don't cry. No, hold on, hold on. Here we go. Here we go. Don't stop talking. Stop talking. Stop talking. Stop talking. Here we go. This is the hadith in the front of you. Which one you want me to read for you? It says it clearly you that dog. you say that you listen, my brother. You say about black dog. First of all, listen to me. Yeah, I want you to understand the color black. Prophet, peace and blessing be upon him, had the three favorite color: hmm. white, green, and black. Really? The reason. So why he forbid you from coloring black? Only on so why he forbid okay? you? Why he forbid you? Listen to this. Hmm. Listen to this. Listen, hmm. listen. You don't know nothing about prophet, our prophet, peace and blessing. He saw everything in spiritual. The religion of his. He was brought Islam. Was a, was a, was a religion of a spiritual religion. Okay. Let's go back to the topic. Religion. You are going out of the topic. You are trying to like avoid said, the question I gave you. You are trying to avoid the question I gave you. What kind of a what prophet he says? What kind of a prophet he says? I was one of the most weak people in six, and I invoke my God Allah, and He sent me a dish of shish kebab. I ate it. I get the power of forty men or thirty men. I swear to God, I never had that book. I don't, I don't care. Here we go. The hadith in the front of you. And, Bible is and this is the name of the book. Hold on. Look at the screen. Look at the screen. Look at the screen. Hold on. Hold on. I don't care. I don't care. Hey, hey, hey. I never had that before. Hey, I don't care if you heard it before or not. This is the book. I'm giving you reference. What kind of God? He sent a dish of shish kebab to his prophet so he can have a power of 40 men or 30 men. Well, shish kebab, you can go to Turkish, man. Take a show. That's why we do. Here we go. You are making fun of Allah now. You are making fun. That's a good sign. You are still making fun of Muhammad and his prophet and his God. You are, you are, you are right. What kind of you know? Let's go to a Turkish guy to get shish kebab. 
What yeah. kind of God? For example, for example, for me, the word God, for example, is not Allah. For me, the word God is not Allah. Don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. I don't care about what the word God for you. You see, you are a person who switched topic in a second. Hey, 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 stop, 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 stop. I will hate that you. Do you stop do you, do you topic. Might be something Don't change topic. Do you, do you're not a coward. Don't God. change topic. What's wrong with you? You don't want to talk about it. I don't care what you call God. I want an answer. The favorite color for Muhammad is black. Muhammad, he forbid the followers from coloring their hair black. Why? Show me where it says that the favorite color of Muhammad is black. A talking machine he will not answer anything because he is ashamed of his prophet why the black dog is the devil he will not answer I want you to tell me I want to learn from you what's wrong with the black dog why Allah he hate black dogs why he hate black animals Muhammad he said clearly for it is the devil now call me back and don't tell me Muhammad's favorite color is the black. Show me the proof, but first of all, answer. Why the most color Allah he hate is a black? Why the black the, the 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 most person Allah he hate in this earth is a black person? We have the right to know. Are you going to answer or you want to give me a speech? Let me call you. Sorry, bro. I think this guy's got some mental issues. <laughs> no problem. Let him. It's okay. It's okay. I, I want you to I, just ask him why he don't want to answer. Okay. I want you just to explain why the black dog is a devil. Forget about the name of the so, God he worship. Doesn't matter who I. I want you to explain to me why Muhammad he think that the black dog is a devil. I want to learn from you. Okay, please learn from me and okay. relax and, and listen to me first okay. of all. Okay, mm. Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessing be upon him, explain some, some of colors. Okay, mm. you see, the color of, of, of black is a spiritual color, it's not about devil, it's a symbol. In a dream, Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessing be upon him, said, Anybody, when they dream in their dream, they see something symbolized like your mother wearing clothes, black clothes, and something like that. Anything to do with the black is a knowledge and wisdom, is actually. But when you see in the evening time, when a dog is barking, a black dog is barking, when he's saying, hoo, 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 uh, but, but uh, it has to be a black dog because a black dog has a super, super spiritual uh, 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 energy that can see devil and, and, and a supernatural being. When he sees his backs, Ooh, 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 ooh. When Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam say, when you see a black dog barking in the evening, mm -hmm. remember that he saw he saw a devil passing by. Say, "Audo billahi min al shaitan al rajim." I seek refuge in the devil that Allah has created. He has that he created. He, he created because Allah has created good things and bad things, and He made a man to choose which one He wants to go for it. So whoever chooses good, he ends up to become good. Say, so for example, if you become human being, nice, kind, and and every uh, and merciful into this world okay, this world belongs is like I a answer? house of can god and we all get can i answer can i answer, can I answer? Can I answer? Can I answer? the hadith you gave me is a lie it's not about a black dog it's about a donkey stop lying you're a prophet he says what? when a donkey Even? hold on don't lie okay. when you're a prophet okay. he said hold on you're a prophet he said okay. when a donkey he scream he saw an angel yep. and when a rooster yep. he scream he saw and uh, sorry, when, when the donkey scream, he saw a shaitan. When a rooster he scream, he saw an angel. So don't make it about a black donkey. A, 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 a dog. Do, stop lying. Now I am showing you. Stop dog. lying. You, stop you, lying. You, you just know one hadith. No, no, no. You show me the other hadith. No, you show me. No, 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 no problem. Show me the other hadith. This is not the. This is not the question. He said here. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. He said, they said to him, this is not a dog barking, you are a liar. You are a liar. You don't know. Show me where it says that. I'm a liar. Okay, show me, show me. Discovery, my brother. Realize knowledge is vast. Like You are stupid and you have nothing to say. Show me. Don't tell me. Show me. I show you the hadith. Where it says, if you see a black dog is barking. And so what if a black dog is barking, you eat it. All dogs, they bark. Any dog, he sees someone is a stranger, he barks. So you just admitted that your prophet he have a phobia from the black color. 
if he see according to you if he see a black dog is barking for sure he is a devil and by the way it doesn't say that here as you see Muhammad he claimed that the three things will interrupt and disturb Muslim prayer which means they are not accepted by Allah if a woman pass by if a donkey and a black dog they ask him what about a black dog he is not barking he just passed by same as a woman you're a prophet he made women equal to dogs and donkeys and even even Aisha she said you made us equal to dogs and donkeys but Aisha she can't complain much because the one who did that is her husband so stop lying and avoiding the answer now if we call him back do you think he's going to answer or he will give us a speech <laughs> let us call him back that's for fun <laughs> Hello. Yes. So, are you going to answer us, my friend? It says here that they ask him what the difference between a black dog and a yellow dog. He said the black dog is a devil. None of them is barking, and if a dog is bark, this is what he do. All dogs bark. So, why you think the black dog is a devil? The mic is yours. First of all, let me tell you the fact that there's no such a black dog is a devil. First, what do we know anything to do with the black color? Black color is a supernatural color. For example, when we die, we go to the supernatural world. It's a death. It's a black, black. So are you saying example, your prophet is a liar? We dream. We are, go you to saying, black, black. are you saying your when prophet we go to is a liar? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Are you saying your prophet is a liar? Are you saying your prophet is a liar? Hold on, shut up. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, listen, your prophet said the black dog is a devil, and you are saying there's no such a thing. Are you saying your prophet is a big fat liar? The hadith, how many hadith are good and bad? How many hadith? This is Sahih hadith. This is Sahih Muslim. This is Sahih Bukhari. You don't, you don't call me again. Don't ever call me again. I'm done with you. Suddenly now, this hadith is not Sahih. This is Sahih Muslim. This is Sahih Bukhari. You donkey. This is Sahih. And this is a Turmudi, and it says here, Sahih. Coward. Anything they don't like, they say it is not Sahih. <laughs> he did not say spiritual. He said the black dog is Shaitan. He is not saying he's like Shaitan. He's saying he is Shaitan. And as you see, they ask him, what is the difference between a black dog and red dog or white one? Muhammad, he don't have a problem with the white dog. He don't have a problem with the red dog. What is different? What is the problem with the black dog? Rather than the red or white one, he said, oh, my nephew, I ask Allah messenger just as you have asked me. He said, the black dog is the devil. Now you keep lying saying that this is not Sahih. We got you busted. It is Sahih. It is in Sahih Muslim. It is in Al Bukhari. It is in a Turmudi. It's all over. But because they are ashamed of their stupid cult, a person who is teaching them stupidity, the only way to escape it. Is to say it is not sahih anything we say to them it's embarrassing in a second in the speed of light it is not correct sahih for those who don't speak arabic mean correct and by the way even the one they call him daif which mean weak it is correct too according to islam you can watch the video of sheikh hamza who explained that daif is accepted did not funk <laughs> and he said and i'm quoting him the one who used the, the, the argument of weak, weak hadith, it's a weak argument. Do you see the stupidity and the shame of this cult? And they try their best to speak over you so they can mute you.
we cannot you know we cannot overcome by saying something truthful but we can overcome by shouting in the old days they overcome you by the sword by the threat and we heard him he's saying that yes those Arab they could not beat Muhammad so Muhammad he did beat them and he made them convert to Islam and Islam you do not need to be a believer right away it's a step by step first you say Shahada first you say Shahada and then slowly 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 you became a Muslim <laughs> The stupidity of this cult is beyond imagination. And here you notice the bankruptcy of Muslims when they try to find a support for their prophet to be a prophet. How we can make Muhammad a prophet? Let us try to find his name in the Bible. But they make fun of our Bible 24 hours, 7 days a week. They say it's corrupt. Suddenly Muhammad is a spirit and suddenly Muhammad will glorify Jesus and suddenly Muhammad is going to stay with us forever Muhammad is dead in the grave Even the hadith says that Muhammad when he died the Muslim did not bury him for three days and he start farting The gas is all over Ibn Abbas. He said It sahibakum faqad antan bury your friend. He became stinky as all a human stink Three days they did not bury him. Why? They are waiting for him to come from the grave as Jesus did. But let me tell you why Muhammad was not buried right away. Muhammad got busted when he died because he claimed before that prophets bodies will never be consumed or decay. Do you see it? So the Muslim believed him. He is telling the truth. Prophets, their body will not be consumed. So they did not bury him three days in the heat of Saudi Arabia. And then his belly became big, which is very normal for any human being. If you leave him for three days, especially in a hot place, the bacteria inside your stomach will, will, will digest the food and will generate a lot of gas. And then the belly of the human being will be full of gas and because now he is not alive he cannot fart normally so what happened the gas will start coming when the belly cannot take it no more the ones who call me first you have to tell me you are a muslim otherwise why you are calling me if you are not a Muslim and you keep calling me, I will block you. And here you notice, by the way, Muhammad, he claimed to be God. He is in the grave yet the prayer of the Muslims will be submitted to him not to Allah he ordered them to pray on him here they, they fabricate the translation they says the blessing will be submitted to me this is, doesn't say it's a blessing it says Salah so he said that the Salah was going to be sent to me where in the grave how you are dead and it will be sent to you who are you are you God the prayer of a human being should go to God, not to Muhammad. No, in the case of Islam, Muhammad is the God. Your prayer will be sent to me. Now, who is the brave Muslim? He have the courage and the knowledge to call us. Who is next? And then now we did not talk about the title which about Allah knows best which I find it very hilarious that Allah know nothing as I know and what he know is stupid when Muhammad he says that the black dog is a devil this is from the knowledge of Allah when Muhammad he says this look at this I mean look at this hilarious stupid stories Allah knows best 
The Prophet said, when you hear the crowing of the cocks, ask for Allah blessing. For their crowing indicate that they have seen an angel. <laughs> Man, when I was in Asia, looked like angels all over in the Buddha country. Angels are not in Arabia. Angels are in 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 in, in, a, in a, like I mean, unbelievable. If you hear the crowing of a rooster, that because he saw an angel, Allah is no knowing. And if you hear, if you seen the donkey brain, that means he saw a shaitan. But hold on. I mean, this story is a disaster. Guys, do you remember the story of Muhammad when he saw the, the, the angel first time? He told his wife, I see someone, I'm not sure if he's an angel or not, in the corner of his room. And his wife, Khadija, she asked him to sit in the top of her leg. In the right one, then in the left one, and then she asked him to sit in the top of her. And each time he moved, she asked him, Do you see him? He said, Yes, he's still there. Then she took off her clothes to have sex with him. And then he, she asked him, Do you see him? He said, No. She said, Glory to Allah, this is an angel. So Muhammad himself is not a qualified to, to recognize who is an angel who is shaitan. But Mr. Rooster can do that. A rooster, he do not need his wife, Mrs. Chicken, to help him to recognize if this is an angel or not. A donkey, he do not need his wife, Mrs. Donkey, to recognize if this is shaitan or not. But Muhammad, who is a prophet, yet he cannot recognize shaitan from an angel. Which means a donkey is more qualified than Muhammad to be a prophet in Islam and a rooster is more qualified than Muhammad to be a prophet in Islam. For both of them, they can recognize shaitan from angel, but Muhammad cannot. Cuckoo, cuckoo. Oh, an angel. Hey, angel, are you there? I am going to buy four donkeys and I will put a donkey in the corner of every corner of my house. So in case a shaitan, he get a close, I get alarmed. Allah knows best, don't he? The second you ask them a serious question, but they say not, they talk too much, but they say nothing. Brother, the Lord Allah, brother, is the same God worshipped by Musa, brother, is the same God worshipped by Jesus, brother, is the same what same God? Don't you see in the front of you, you idiot? And if we have the same God, why our God don't promise us an endless penis like your God? And what I will do with endless penis? Is that a reward or a penalty? You see. It might be accepted to have endless tail because the tail would be dropped in, in your back. But a, a, a penis endless in the front of you, how you can walk? Are you going to walk backward? Are you put like, are you going to carry it in the top like a trailer? You are here, but your penis is in, in the Amazon jungles and all those sharp teeth fish are having their bites. We have the same God, brother. The God of Jesus, brother. He is the one who created Jesus, brother. The one who created Jesus, brother. He promised you 70 years orgasm. So I go to visit Zach and Nick. I knock at the door. You're going to believe that I'm having orgasm. And then I come next year. I'm having orgasm. The year after. 70 years orgasm. And your God is the same as our God. Your God is a perverted porn star God. He stuck with the number 70. My people will be 70 sect. 72 wives. 70 years orgasm. I mean, get out of it. What about 40? You notice <coughs> how they try to flood you with words, but in fact, they are empty. 
they can answer nothing they have nothing to say Allah knows best and how Allah knows best simply because he told us that if you hear a rooster that indicate that he saw an angel I'm really convinced by the way and Muhammad who learned this from Allah he cannot be lying when Muhammad he says that Allah he like those who sneeze well he's no as he's talking about it this is his God he like those who sneeze and what's wrong with you it's a fact all gods in the world they like sneezing yes Abdul hello hello yes alaikum salam I'm so, sorry about that guy. He wasn't being too cooperative. Cooperative. It's not about courting. This guy have a, he have a, like a, he, he talked too much. He say nothing. I know you had him under pressure. He was going. He was going. He's turning red. Yeah. Well, I don't want him to be exploded. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen him going that thing like going that red in my whole life. Yeah. He's always like always giving knowledge, but when I see the way he's living his life. He's Muslim. He claimed to be Muslim. He got so much knowledge, but he just lives his life the way he wants. Yeah, it's too much pressure. I understand. But you see, like he have to learn as a man. I mean, at least when you speak to us, say something useful. We ask him about potato. He start talking about tomato. He never answer yeah, anything. And, yeah. And sorry, sorry, Jukai. Go on. Yeah. It's all right. But anyway, Hello? at least at least you are you are, you you yourself you are out of Islam, and that will make you make make them this additional thing make them yeah. more angry right now. Yeah. Because you are a family member. Yeah. And you, you left the stand because you are watching my videos. Yeah, yeah. So I, no, I left Islam. I left Islam a long, like uh, six months ago. And then one time, basically, someone mentioned Christian, mentioned your name. Oh, and then sorry. when I went on the internet, uh, I started listening to it. And then everything was more, it just made more clear to me. So I just knew that I was in a. We lost you, my friend. Hello. Yeah, you have a weak internet. Yeah, this is why they are angry because this guy he is a family member, you know. Those are his uncles. This is his uncle, you know, and he left Islam and they are so upset. You know, how they can get this back back to, to, to this cult, you know? They are very, very upset. Anyway, his connection is lost. And soon he will make more people leave this cult too. I mean, how in the world? And you see, when any time you show them something embarrassing, they say it's weak. But we can show you the same embarrassment from the Quran. He said to me, in Islam, we don't have slaves and we don't have sex with the slaves. When I showed him that the, the, the Quran have tons of verses saying, He claimed we marry them. It, that's not true. It says it is lawful for you, your wives and the one is owned by your hand. If they are wives, there is no need to say they are owned by your hand. And we can show tons of reference of Muhammad raping women who they are slaves. As an example, Juria or Safiya or etc. And even Muhammad, he accept gifts, gifts as a human being. Do we have any Muslim would like to give us a call? Don't forget, please, to give our, our video a like. As you see, I have 11 Abdul give it dislike. Now, I wonder what about the rest of the thousand people and more watching? Why they are not giving a like for our video if you really like what we do? Do we need to ask you for it? When we ask a Muslim, why you kiss a black stone? He claimed that he is a person who don't he's not a pagan. Okay, if if going around a stone, praying in the direction of a stone, and kissing a stone is not paganism. So what is paganism? Once in a chat website, Islamic chat, it says I convert to Islam something. I chatted with them and I said to them, uh 
I have a question why the prophet he kissed the black stone the guy in the other side who tried me to try to help me to convert to Islam he says because it's holy and I said okay so why it's holy he said because the prophet kissed it <laughs> so why the prophet kissed the black stone because it's holy and why it's holy because the prophet kissed it have you ever heard of a stupid cult like this a smart Muslim he will come with different idea he will say to you oh because Allah he sent the stone from heaven Abdul the stone is still a stone it's coming from heaven it's coming from warehouse who care why you are kissing it <laughs> Why are you are kissing it? And by the way, for those who do not know, there's no black stone. Do you know that? Many people do not know. Let me let me find you a picture of the black stone. And you will find that the black stone really does not exist no more. There's no such a thing. The black stone, what is left now is little tiny, small, tiny stones. There's no black stone. Let me try to find you the image. Uh, maybe I did delete it. Hold on. There is small tiny stones left. That's all. There's no really black stone. Here we go. Uh, but here they make it big actually. Let us see if we can find you an actual size. Uh, I'm searching in Google. Okay, look look at this one. Maybe here we can find you. Look how tiny small they are. Do you see them? There's no stone. The shape you see right now, they are trying to shape it as they claim it used to be, like a vagina. For this is was a vagina in the old days. So now what they do, they filled around those little tiny, little tiny stones, wax. In this video here, actually this picture here, you will see the Muslims are uh, doing maintenance to the stone. Do you see the guy? He is he melt wax around those little tiny stones. There's no stones in there. I mean, there's the black stone. We keep saying black stone. There's no black stone. See here, he is doing the waxing. You see it? Little tiny stones. They are trying to reshape them to look in the old days. And by the way, why Allah don't protect the black stone and now became small tiny stones? Why we need the maintenance? I mean, if Allah is the one who sent you this stone from heaven and it's a holy stone and it was in the shape of a vagina, why we need to do maintenance for what Allah sent? So shouldn't Allah preserve it? Little tiny pieces. Al Qurmuti, Al Qurmuti, he destroyed the Kaaba. He took the black stone, and the Muslim later they have to pay him, so they can get those little tiny stones. And then they place them inside the hole, as they used to be before. And they put the wax around it, and supposedly now we have religion. You have nothing. You have nothing but a cult. Black stone kisser. And you know, 
it's there is tons of evidence by the way that Islam is coming from India I don't know if you notice how the Muslim they they, they dress when they go around the Kaaba go and compare between how the Muslim they dress and how the Hindu priest they dress in Hinduism there is in the temple there is a, a, a like a I don't know what they call it uh, I forgot the name in, in Indian language uh, which is a penis and a vagina a penis and a vagina ligma I think ligma something like this I'm trying to remember the name they dress the same time Shiva so uh, they dress the same they act the same they even shave their head you see this guy because he is a president he is not shaving if you are a Muslim you should shave like this guy now here look see he's shaved Let me search for pictures for the Hajj and you will see how they dress. Look at those guys. You see, always they uncover one shoulder, the same as a Hindu priest. And even by the way, the Muslims, they say that when Allah, he sent Adam, he sent him to, anyone remember? Who remember? He sent him to India. So even the Muslims, they acknowledge that Adam himself is an Indian. And then Allah, he ordered him to go and do Hajj. Look at those kuffar. Do you see how they are dressing up? Adam was an Indian and then Allah he sent the angels and they placed the, the black stone uh, in in that location because this is Allah he decided that this is the location should be and I made a video before about uh, about the location of the Kaaba which is proven to us again that Allah is a false God how we know that <clears throat> Look at this. As long as the Muslims agree that it is Allah who chose the location of the Kaaba, how in the world is God? He chose it in the lowest point of Mecca, where any time little rain will make all the poopoo come and surround her and cover the Kaaba. Are you getting my point, guys? If Allah is the one who chose the location. Imagine you give an engineer engineering company and you tell them I want you to find for me a location to build my house. But be careful here. This is the house of Allah. The house of Allah is built in a new Orland where any kind of rain will cover it and will bring all the people. Remember in Mecca there is no sewage. People they save their shit, excuse my language. In a little hole inside with inside the house. That's why there in Mecca, when you go in the morning, you breathe. You want to drink your coffee. You don't you, you don't breathe a normal uh, wind. You bring sh you know you breathe shit literally. Especially if your neighbor he did not empty his shit hole. Because it's going to be flood, they will not notice it's flooding until it's flood. That's it. It's too late, and the shit will be all over the street. Excuse me for the details. And then when little rain come, all this shit will go to the Kaaba, as you see, because it is in the lower point of Mecca. What kind of God he chose the Kaaba in the wrong location? People are swimming there. Do you see it? The people are literally swimming. So this is the house of Allah, and Allah, he chose the location, yet it's a wrong location.
imagine if you if, if an engineering company they choose for you the location of your house in such a horrible place and now by the help of the American they are trying to stop the rain from flooding the Kaaba after all the money they got it's not Allah who is stopping the, the flooding it is the engineering companies of USA Allah he chose wrong place paganism pagan cult they are copying Hinduism and they are claiming that they are not Hindus and by the way we cannot compare between the Hindus and Islam in reality you know but obviously Muhammad and the Arab they copy a lot and actually if I show you the map, let me show you why I, uh, you see me as an Arab supposedly I don't believe that the Arab is as is an ethnic group. We are not an ethnic group mistakenly many naive people they say that uh, Arab are an ethnic that's a big fat lie There's no such a thing. It's called Arab as an ethnic literally it's a lie this is why if you look at any uh, uh, any country who claim to be Arab they don't look the same they don't match each other you feel like you are speaking to a people who came to America like America is a country of immigrant where there's people coming from Africa people coming from Asia people coming from wherever there's Native American it's you everybody is coming from somewhere and this is exactly what you see in the Middle East If you look with me here, you will notice how how close close by is India. All what you need is to cross from this territory here to this territory. How long is that going to take? Two hours by by ship from here to here. That's it. You are in India. Now this is Pakistan, but in the old days it was India. That's it. It's across across the sea. Which is a small, tiny, narrow area. So when we say that, obviously, if you go and look right now at the people who live in Bahrain, the Prince of Qatar. If I show you the Prince of Qatar, how he look like? He is a Pakistani guy. He look exactly like a Pakistani Indian. Let me show you. You tell me when the last time you saw this mustache and you saw a face like this. Isn't it this is a Pakistani face? The same hair, the same eyes, the same color. It is Pakistan. Even by the way, the clothing, the, the traditional clothing is not this, this. This is not their clothes. If you go and see the traditional clothes of Bahrain, Emirat, Qatar, this is not the clothes they wear. It's different. It is the same as the Indian. They have like a skirt around their waist. And just to show you how they look different, those who call themselves Arab, no, they, don't, they don't match each other. Look at this each one of them he looked different look at this uh, picture here which one of them is a close to the other one they don't match they don't match in anything this guy here is a blonde with the blue eyes have you ever heard of an Arab is uh, have a blue eyes since when you see him he have a blue eyes this guy is a blonde literally blonde the Moroccan guy, he looked totally different from the Omani guy. 
the Omani guy he looked totally different from the Egyptian guy the Qatari guy he looked totally different from all of them and the same as the Saudi yet they called themselves Arab <laughs> what about this one <laughs> look at that. who looked like who nobody this guy he looked like a European this is the president of Tunisia this the president of Yemen this is Al-Qazafi all of you know him the madman and this is the president of Egypt they don't look the same they have nothing to share but they call themselves Arab why because the people of the desert and this is what Arab mean people of the desert people who live in the desert they attack them they occupy their lands and they force them to say they are Arab and to say we are Muslims Otherwise, none of them is really an Arab. Egyptian are African, Arab are not. Tunisia is African, Arab are not. Algeria, African, Arab are not. Morocco is African, Arab are not. So what make those people call themselves Arab? No, Arab are not Semitic because Arab are not are not an ethnic Arab. The word Arab is coming from the Aramaic language, which means desert. Arabia is a desert. So the Aramaic, uh, the Aramaic, is is a word meaning the one who live in the high hills. Arab is the one who live in the desert. So it's not a name of a nation. It is anyone who live in the desert simply literally we say like the Bedouin you know the Bedouin any other word is like the savage people of the cities they call those who live in a desert savage because they don't take a shower once a year they have a tent they don't come their hair they don't they are not clean they smell bad why because of their nature of their life their life is tough and they keep moving from place to place there's no place they don't have a shower place they don't have a river they go out after after grass so they are not an ethnic group an Arabic language is not exist there's nothing called Arabic language you see what we have today is a collection of languages which make what it's called today Arabic language this is why if you ask a Muslim any question about the Quran he do not know how to answer because most of it is not really Arabic all of this is coming either from the Aramaic or from the Hebrew. Oh, and some of it is even coming from Ethiopian language. Like this guy, he said to us, uh, Qalam. He said, Allah, he taught us by the Qalam. Qalam, it's a pen. This is not an Arabic word. And he, the idiot, he said that the first one who came with this word is Allah. The first one who came with this word is Allah. <laughs> When his scholars agree that Al Qalam is not an Arabic word and it is taken from other languages, stupidity. Is knowledge these days. Actually, if we go and search right now, we can find a long list of words which is not. Uh, uh, Agreed upon by the Muslims that it's not Arabic in the Quran, including the word Qalam, Tabut, Qalam, uh, Jannah, Jahannam. Uh, the word Quran itself is not Arabic. Uh, uh, Injil, Ishmael, Abraham, uh, Isa, uh, uh, Israel, uh, Ishaq, uh, oh, it's full of it. This is why if you ask a Muslim now what Abraham means, he doesn't know. Okay, your Quran says Abraham. What what Abraham mean? They don't know. What okay, what Israel mean? They don't know. Like who is Israel? They do not know. If you search the whole Quran now and we look for the word Israel. And in front of you, I will make a challenge to any Muslim to call me and to tell me. How we can find from the Quran who is this person? His name is Israel. 
about 40 times the word Israel is mentioned but not a single Muslim can tell us who is Israel unless he have to go and read our Bible how this is the book of God but yet your God did not tell you who is he I mean what what is the point of saying to me oh children of Israel but you don't say to me who is Israel how silly how stupid to, to say to you oh child of etc but you don't tell us who is this person who they are his children do you see it children of Israel okay who's is Israel who is a Muslim would like to call me and tell me who is Israel They don't know what the word Jibreel mean. The most time they keep saying to us, Jibreel, Jibreel, the pizza guy, Jibreel is coming, Jibreel is going. Okay, what Jibreel mean? They don't know. They don't know. Because all of this is a theft. They stole it from other belief and other books. They don't know what Ishmael mean. They do not know what Jibreel mean. They don't know what Mikhail mean. They do not know what Allah mean. They do not know what Israel mean. They have no idea what this is all is about. For Muhammad was collecting names from other beliefs. And the funny they say to us, Allah is all knowing. Allah is all knowing to the point he knew that women they have sperm coming from their breast. How silly Allah he think that the sperm transform into a congealed blood how stupid Allah he do not even remember which one he created first the trees or the stars how donkey Allah he think that the hail is coming from mountains in heaven how idiot Allah he think that women have have half a brain which is absolutely false the fact the one who have half a brain is men make a woman wear short skirt and she is beautiful and make her walk in front of 10 men let us see how many of them they will lose their mind in a second who is the one have half a brain You will see the eyes like going like ooh, 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 they are getting dizzy. Muhammad not only he teach racism against colors like black people or Asian, he made fun of the look of the Asian. He says their face are like the one who hit by a hammer. He make fun of the gender too. He believed that women are not trustworthy. They are the devil himself. This is why Muhammad, he says that women always approach in the image of a devil and she live in the image of the devil. And Muhammad, he can say such a thing about his mother. The, this, this is how you see your mother, Muhammad? That your mother is a shaitan? The Muslim they say to us that Muhammad he taught us to respect our parents. Is that respect? And my friend, don't mention to me the name of this kid. We don't allow we don't allow the name here. This guy is as a kid, he's a is a mental illness. You debate him. He's a donkey. We spank him already, and the debate is in, is in, in his website. He agreed that his prophet have sex with the goat. And he said to me, Isn't it better that yes, my prophet he have sex with donkey or sorry, a goat? Isn't it better than your God say this smash the head of the babies? So I would debate him about what? 
and he don't this guy he don't even do not do not know how to read his his his, his god name <laughs> it's not his fault by the way it's the fault of those who even accept to debate him this guy he is looking for attention and you are helping him i i will not be surprised if you are not him himself yourself because only one who mentioned his name is him no muslim care for him no muslim listen to him no muslims consider him anything so why you are mentioning his name unless it is you he changed his name. He comes to different names. He says, you are afraid of that, Zachary, of, uh, of this guy. Because he, this is him himself. Nobody mentioned his name. Except him. He's just a kid. Do we have any Muslim? He have the courage. And by the way, still he can call me. The coward who claimed that, uh, you know, he can call me. Because still he can make a Skype right now a name. And still he can call me. So anyone he says to you that Christian Prince he blocked me is a liar because all what it take for you to make a new name and give me a call. And Skype is for free. Do we have any Abdul? He have the courage to call us. May they, may they. We are short of Abdul. Anyone? My challenge to the Muslims is very open and very easy. Who of you can call me and show me that Allah knows anything? You claim that Allah knows best. I say Allah know nothing. Actually, what he knows is stupid. Allah is not even qualified. To be called the idiot of the village. His book, the Quran, and the Hadith is full of garbage, exposing him to be a false god, and there's no way God will make such a stupid mistakes. So, who is the Muslim when I give us a call? May they, may they. And I'm not going to ask you any question. You tell me what you want. You tell me I'm going to prove to you that Allah knows best. <clears throat> Who want to do it? Hmm? Do you see them? They are scared. They make those websites like this one here just to fool the naive ones who do not know neither Arabic or anything about Islam. The Quran. The Quran, the book of Islam, contains scientific knowledge that could not have been known 14 years, 1400 years ago. You are right. Like what exactly? And then they list for you all those things which we can get them busted one by one. And not only that, they are not true. They are the opposite. Proving Muhammad to be a false man. Brain function. Do you must not even have a brain to say to speak about the brain function? I want to see this brain function thing. Hold on. Brain function. <clears throat> the frontal part of the brain handle lies. For centuries, it was thought. That the frontal part of the human brain handle vision simply because it's near the eyes today We know that this is false the part that handle vision turned out to be the rear brain See the image Okay And then They say to the Quran Chapter 96, verse number 16. A lying, sinful forehead. Any Muslim is excited now? How long is going to take us to get the Abdul busted? What do you think, guys? 
one second two second three second how long is going to take to get the story here busted I say less than a second the word nausea is the hair in the front it's not the brain you idiot liar Any Muslim want to call me and get me busted? It is the hair. The verse have nothing to do with the brain. It says we will grab him from the first hair in his head. Chapter 96, verse number 16. Let us go and see the interpretation of the Muslims. 96, 16. <laughs> All right. Liars, liars. Again, just to show you, we are not making things up. Here we go. This is a chapter 96, verse number 16. And this is your Islamic official website. Liars. They try to fool the naive ones who do not know Arabic. Fabricate things is not there. Hmm. Guys, do you see what the Muslims they said here? What for luck mean? Somebody teach me English, please. What for luck mean? Hmm? How you made the verse is about the brain when it's about the hair. So now, according to you Muslims, the hair is controlling our lies? <laughs> Do you see how they fabricate change the words? Do you see how they lie? The purpose is to deceive you, you do not know Arabic, so we can translate as we wish. Garbage in, garbage out. Let us see what Ibn Kathir want to say about this. I am interested to see in English, especially in English, because in English is different from the Arabic ones as usual. Ibn Kathir. Okay, Ibn Kathir here. Take into your consideration that Muslims, when they translate a book like Ibn Kathir as an example, have nothing to do with what is written in the Arabic one. What this guy here? You have one to six. And by the way, hold on. Do I see somebody is calling? Why it says here? Look here, uh, what Ibn Kathir he says. This is the, the this is the Islamic translation in English. It is totally different from what it is as usual in the Arabic words. Let us show you. Always, they are professional liars. Do we have any Muslim would like to call? They translate the word nausea as the forehead. Uh, according to Muhammad, when 
when the human being he go to the day of judgment Allah will grab him from the forelock of his head and the one who is lying is the one he will take him and who is the one is lying suppose he's someone like me who don't believe women have a sperm coming from their ribs or the sperm of the man coming from the backbone uh, and not only that if you see here in the Kathir it says that Allah will make every face in the day of judgment is going to be black if we go to the English part here we will not find that do you see the word black here anyone saying anyone see that we will we will we will no it's gone there's nothing there's no black in the whole story there's no black Do we have any Muslim? What happened to the Muslims today? They give up? The Quran came hundreds of years after Muhammad too. Who said that the Quran is not the same as the Hadith? The Muslim do not have a single Quran dated to even close to Muhammad time. Look, what the Muslims they have today is what is called the recitation of Hafs, not the book of Hafs. Hafs himself was exist more than 200 years after Muhammad, accused by Muslim to be a fraud. The Muslim, they reject any hadith is mentioned by Hafs because he's a fraud. But yet they accept his Quran. How stupid is that is? Still, they don't have the book of the Quran of Hafs. They have recitation of Hafs. Which means somebody claim that this is how Hafs he said the Quran. Same as Sahih Hadith. They don't have Sahih Hadith. You see the Muslim, they say you Sahih Bukhari. We go to this website here, it says Sahih Bukhari. But there's no Sahih Bukhari. Where we can find the book of Sahih Bukhari, nobody have it. What they have is somebody claim that this is a copy of a copy of a copy of a copy which nobody knows where is the original copy or even Sahir Bukhari if he exists. They don't have Sahir Bukhari. Same as Muslim. They don't have Muslim. So what do you have? If Islam is based on Quran, Sahir Bukhari, Sahir Muslim, you don't have the, uh, the Quran, you don't have Sahir Bukhari, you don't have Muslim. So what do you have? Nothing. And by the way, the Muslim, they wish that those books are not exist because those books are disaster. As an example, uh, somebody, uh, or one of you yesterday, he sent me, let me see if I can find his message. He said to me, how you can refute this? I'm trying to find the one who sent me. Hey, by the way, before I forget, uh, I posted a new video, two short videos in mind that come about the guy yesterday, the Somalian guy, who said we as a Muslim, we are allowed to lie to you. So if you don't mind, you can go to minds.com and you can download the videos from there. And the, 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 to download is very easy. Click at the video, make it a play, and then when the video is playing, you click with your right side of your mouse and click at save, and you will be able to save the video. Okay, look at this. One of you, he sent me this in Skype. Chapter 18, verse number 86. Do you remember where it says that uh, 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 Zulqarnain, the man with the two horn, he found the sun sitting in murky water? This person he sent to me, the Muslim, they said to him, don't you see the interpretation it says? is described as seen from the perspective of the eyes. Otherwise, it is far uh, larger than the size of the world. world. Okay, so here the Muslim they have a problem. The Quran says that the sun set in a murky water. The interpretation here is trying to protect the Quran that Allah is not a stupid. This is kind of, was only from the the eye perspective because he saw it look like this, so he reported as it is. But the, the, they forgot something important. The one is talking there is not the man; it is Allah. It's not the man. He said, "I saw it this way." It is Allah, he says, 
he found the sun sitting in murky water but guess how we can get them busted we go to the hadith and we search for Muhammad because Muhammad is my best helper to get them busted look how Muhammad get them busted with me if this what the Quran meant that he saw it from perspective of the eye and this is not really what happened so how Muhammad here he said that he agreed that the Sun set in the murky water do you see it guys and do you see how we can debunk them and get them busted in two seconds they try to avoid the disaster in the Quran where the Quran saying that the sun set in murky water they lie and they say oh this is how he appeared to him it doesn't mean that here we go here we go this is your prophet and is this a sahih yes it's a sahih here we go this is a sahih hadith Muhammad he agree that the sun set in the murky water so what we will do now with Muhammad you Muslim you understand the Quran better than Muhammad Huh? You Muslims know what the Quran meant more than Muhammad. Obviously, Muhammad is a liar now. And in the best scenario, Muhammad is an idiot. He do not know what Allah he meant. Why Allah he think that the sun set in the murky water? How we can explain that? We can. <clears throat> oh boy, I'm a freezing here. <clears throat> oh, it's cold. Guys, I want to move to a, a warmer place. I, I'm, I'm planning to move to Alaska. And I forget to turn on the heater and I'm wondering why I'm freezing, why my teeth is touching each other. <laughs> I thought maybe uh, the angel Jibreel is squeezing me or something, but I start talking like Zachary. No, and uh, you know, it's very cold. Yeah, I want to move to a, a warmer area, brother. Can I reserve a corner lot in hell, brother? Do you know actually how Muhammad even explained winter and summer? Let me show you how Muhammad, Muhammad is a scientist, man. Muhammad, Allah told him everything. Nothing is hiding from the Prophet of Allah. He knew it all. Uh, let us see. <clears throat> Muhammad explaining how why the why the summer is hot and why the winter is cold brother the messenger of allah said when it is hot make a delay in the noon prayer till it's cooled down for the intensity of the beat or actually of the heat is from the accelerate uh, uh, exalting of the hell and also mentioned that the hellfire complained to Allah. The hellfire complained to Allah and said to him, My belly is eating each other. Okay. And then Allah, He says, So He permitted to take two breathing during the whole year, one in the winter and one in the summer. <laughs> True story. The second you show this to a Muslim, he will say to you, this is weak hadith. Brother, this is Sahih, this is Sahih Muslim, brother. Brother is weak. It's Sahih Muslim, brother. It's called, the name of the book is Sahih. It's weak. Muhammad is a scientist. He knew everything. It's true. How the Prophet, he knew this. You explain to me. If the Prophet is not a Prophet of God, and God is telling him this amazing science. How we can deny that Allah knows best? 
what is a w stand depend for the muslims allah pray on him and salute him sallallahu alayhi wasallam which mean allah pray on him and salute him for me is a stupid uh, astonishing uh, <clears throat> which have you ever heard of a prophet he was bewitched if you say to a muslim your prophet was bewitched he will what he will be upset just say it to him I mean you read for them what their books saying they get upset once once the prophet was bewitched <laughs> what 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 we have a bewitched prophet nice to meet you if the prophet was bewitched how we can trust this prophet <clears throat> And how they bewitch the prophet, they got some hair. Don't tell me from where, please. How we can trust this guy to be a prophet of God? He was bewitched, as you see. Say to any Muslim, your prophet bewitched, he get upset. Yeah, it's not me who's saying that, it's you. Yeah, brother, we can say that, but you cannot say that, brother. You are insulting the prophet, brother. Please don't text me in Skype. If you want something, you can text me. You can ask the same as the rest in the chat. Otherwise, I will block you. Do you know how many people I have in Skype? I don't know, 10,000? Now, who is the Muslim when I call me and tell me how Allah knows best? Obviously, Allah knows best. Any Abdul and Muhammad he claimed too. don't forget that that when the man and the women they have sex together whichever of them comes first the baby will resemble the parents and now I know why you guys have I mean have that look I know exactly what happened in the bed of your parents each one of you each one of you the prophet he taught me if you have orgasm first, the baby will look like you. I will never have orgasm first. Because now I have no excuse for my son. My son will say, look at me. Look how I look like now. I look like you. And then what I will say to him, sorry? It was a mistake? He will not forgive me. So what I will do by the help of the Prophet, mashallah, I will not have orgasm first so my son will look not look ugly like me alhamdulillah Allah knows best if you do not feel like you convert into Islam yet please brother it is true and you should convert immediately uh, thinker Bill in this chat here we don't talk about who is older who is a newer none of our business our topic here is islam anyone will talk about orthodox catholic protestant i will block you just take care and there's nothing is called older nothing is called a newer we believe in the lord not in a priest and you are a priest the one who follow a priest he go to hell the one who follow the lord he go to heaven Now, do we have any Muslim? Many priests are the same as Muhammad. They are child molester, they are unholy, they are disaster, they are filthy, and they are doing business. The man who trusts a man is a fool. The man who trusts the Lord is a wise person. Do we have any Abdul? Anyone?
and as you see here we are not judging Islam by a Muslim we are judging Islam by the founder of Islam and that make it right a Muslim he cannot say Muhammad himself he do not know what he's talking about he cannot say well he is just a man we don't care who is he this is Muhammad you want to judge Christianity you judge it by the Messiah you want to judge Islam you judge it by Muhammad I don't judge Islam by Osama bin Laden I believe actually Osama bin Laden is a victim as simple as that Osama bin Laden he thought as Jesus said time will come and people will think by killing you they are doing favor to God he is a victim of the filth of Muhammad the same as any poor Muslims who they are desperately trying to die so they can get the endless penis as simple as that and please don't respond in the chat to someone is silly we will deal with him you can tell right away is the person who have the devil spirit he try right away when he enter a place he try to divide anything will make you divided it is not from god anything Don't allow yourself to be dragged down by any person who teach division. It doesn't matter who is he, a bishop, a priest, anyone who claim to be even a man of God. The vision is from the devil and you do not need someone genius to teach you that. And actually the Muslims, they love to see the Christian divided. So divide and conquer. And even the Quran says that clearly. That Allah will spread hate and enmity between the Christians until judgment day. But the one who do that divide the Christians are serving the devil, not Jesus. This is the Quran. This is not me talking. He made a promise. The Satan himself, Allah. That he will spread hatred and enmity between the Christians until the judgment day. So anyone he claimed to be Christian, he is a Protestant, he is an Orthodox, he is a Catholic, he divide the Christians, he is filthy, satanic, serving the devil. And he have nothing to do with Jesus. This is all is the act of Satan. And here, if you ask the Muslims, what is the benefit of this God to spread the hatred and enmity? What Allah will earn from that? Why Allah don't fix? If let us say we are wrong, are you going to make us better by spreading hatred? Since when spreading hatred can fix something? Unless Allah himself is the devil. Any Muslim? Do we have any Abdul? May they, may they. My friend, I want to remind you of what the Messiah he said. He said love your enemy pray for them so if you are a person who cannot even love your brother in Christ who is from the front church who are you who are you you don't belong to him even the Muslims who want to kill us he said to us love them pray for them always examine the spirit and start from yourself if you don't have the spirit of love inside you you do not belong to the Messiah
I am not a Catholic I am not a Protestant and I am not Orthodox I am a follower of the Messiah and all those who follow the Messiah are my brothers and sisters I don't care for the name of the church you go to church is a group of people who worship a God either he is the devil or he is the true God which is Jesus the Christ it's a group there is a church in San Francisco it's called the Church of Satan they call themselves a church the word mosque is coming from Jamia which means you know the synagogue they call themselves people who worship the same God as we do the fact they are worshiping the devil so it's not about what you call yourself let us say for the sake of argument the Muslim they change the name of their cult and they make it a Christian name they, they call themselves Christians still they are worshiping the devil Our problem with those cults are not the name. Who cares what the name you use? We know God and He knows us. He said, I know my sheep and my sheep, they knew me. How we know Him? The Lord, He gave us the great example. From their fruits you shall know them. Not from their words and talking and preaching. There's many people they speak good. He said he speaks specifically about the priest. He said, listen to them, but don't do what they do. Muhammad he claimed that he is coming from God. Is he? As you see, the Muslims always they fail to prove such a thing to be true. Someone saying he is a Muslim or she is a Muslim, as she want to call. Go ahead. How we knew Muhammad is a false man? Is that because he worship a God? His name is Allah alone? No. But the fruits is ugly. The ethic is ugly. The nature is ugly. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Yes. Go ahead. No, I will not speak. <clears throat> so what we will do now? You don't want to speak? Okay. Any Muslim would like to give us a call and prove to us that Muhammad is a prophet? No, it's uh, like uh, one. Our friend, mute YouTube, please. Mute YouTube. Mute YouTube. Okay. One more time, you call, you don't talk, I will block you. Do we have any Muslim? He's proud to be a Muslim. Muslim. Yes. Hello. Hi. Hello. Okay. What is that? If you don't talk this time, I'm going to block you. Are you there? Okay, let me block you then. Do we have any Abdul? Anyone? You can take any chapter from the Quran. You see, uh, one of you asked me, how is your Quran translation is going? How is my Quran translation going? It's it's not really, translating the Quran is not uh, hard. And the reason of that, 
because the Quran is disconnected, which means like you translate this part here and this part next up after it have nothing to do with the first part. It's like like it's not like a story where translation can go like you have to contain the whole meaning. It is nothing. It's just a stupid book says nothing. What does verse have to do with the verse before after it? Nothing. What does verse have to be with the verse? Nothing. What does have to do with it? Nothing. They have nothing. So the translation is not really hard. But because still I want to be sure that uh, I'm doing the best I can to bring the real meaning, I'm taking my time. Otherwise, translation is not really hard because this is this is like a, I don't know how to describe it for for you. It's like somebody he is a thief, and um, in his way going home, he stole uh, like uh, stuff in the way in the road from the front yard of everybody he see in the front of him. Let us say somebody he stole paint, paint you know, containers of, of paint, but each one has nothing to do with the other one. There's no story in the story. What this have to do with the one before it? Nothing. What this one have to do with it? Nothing. Nothing. Look at this. Talking about how to pray, suddenly talking about the Jews, suddenly he's talking about the Christians. There's nothing. It's a stupid book. Talking about what to eat, what not to eat. And then in the same time, he says to you, today I completed my religion for you. And then he's talking about how to have sex. I mean, have you ever heard of somebody saying what you can eat and then he jump right away to sex in the same verse? Stupidity. And the funny, the Muslim, they say to you, this is amazing, brother. Amazing, amazing. But you don't even know Arabic. This book is amazing to the point it's astonishing stupid. It's not like the Bible, you know, the Bible is a, you know, there is, everything is in order. If you go to the book of Genesis, you want to find how God created the whole world, go to book of Genesis. We have books. We have, we, we have everything is in order. Here you have nothing in order. The Quran is like uh, somebody was uh, cleaning his rice. You know, he have rice. He want to cook, and then other person he have another kind of herbs or things, and then they came and they mixed them together and they said, "Okay, this is our food for today." But they don't match. Not in the color. Not in the topic. Not in the story. Nothing in there. The Muslims they try to organize the Quran. Look, this this uh, verse here is called the chapter of Al Maida. Okay, why the chapter of Al Maida is called Al Maida? Did Allah call it Al Maida? No. It is the Muslims who gave it such a name. Why? Because according to this verse, Allah He sent or that this chapter, Allah He sent seven whale to Jesus. Every whale in a sandwich. And he was able to feed thousands of people. This is a story taken from the Bible, but have nothing to do with whale. Since when it says in the Bible that God, he sent him seven sandwiches. Each sandwich have a whale. Seven whales in seven sandwiches. And not only that, the apostle of Jesus, they did not eat. They asked him for it, but he did not like to eat. And then if you read the holy story, okay, what is the story of the whale? Here we go. This is the chapter called Al-Ma'ida, where we can find the story about Al-Ma'ida. Little tiny verse. So they call the holy chapter by this. And what Jesus have to do with, the, with Allah, he is saying to the Jews, go and kill the Palestinian. 
And what the table of Jesus have to do with this chapter? Let me look at this chapter. There is nothing is connected to anything. The one who's asking about the video of yesterday, if you go to minds.com, you will find two new videos there. They are short. For that guy speaking, you can download them from there. I made them short just for you. All right. Go to minds.com. You will find two new videos and you can download them. Click at the video. When the video play, you can click at click and click at save with your right side of the mouse. My friend, the Quran is officially stupid book. And I am here to challenge any Muslim to prove me wrong. Look as an example at this stupid verse. Let the people of the gospel judge by that which Allah has revealed therein. Okay, hold on, hold on. How the Muslims they say to us that your Bible is corrupt, and yet your silly God saying that the Christian, you Christian, judge by the gospel. If they don't have the true gospel, this is 600 years after Jesus. We hear a stupid Abdul saying, for 4,000 years, 4,000 years, the Jews, they are commanded to worship God only. Accusing the Christian that they changed their Bible and they added the Trinity. Yet he's a stupid book saying, asking the Christian to judge by the gospel. How we can judge by the gospel unless we have a gospel? And by the way, the Quran in many verses confirming the gospel. Saying it clearly that we confirm what they have in their hands, what they possess, not what was with them, as some translations they say to you. Read with me as an example. And then when a messenger come to them, confirming which they possess, they possess right now, not they possess later. And you know, if you read, you will see that this is the most stupid thing. I mean, look, here he is talking about uh, about something, and suddenly he jumped to Suleiman and start talking about magic. Okay, what does this have to do with the verse before it? Nothing. Do you remember yesterday the guy, he says, Allah, he calls us to forget the Quran? Do you remember the Somalian boy? Okay, hold on. Allah, he caused you to forget the Quran. Why? How stupid this logic is that God, he gave me Quran and now he want me to forget the Quran after a few days from sending the Quran or after a few years. Why he is doing that? Isn't it this is a corruption? If you agree that Allah is causing you to forget the Quran, it means Allah is corrupting what he sent to you. He changed it. He took something off. He forced you to forget. And look how silly the verse is going more. He said, we, some, we make something similar or something better. How stupid that is. So I make you forget Quran to give you better Quran. Allah can make Quran better than his Quran. Have you ever heard of a God? He can make word of God better than his word. And what does that mean? Allah, he went to the kitchen and he thought about it. Ah, oh, this is Quran. I don't like it. I'm going to make something better. <laughs> ah, this Quran, this verse is really messed up. Mm, I'm going to make you forget it and I will get you something better, brother. If we call Zakir Naik and we ask him what's happening here, Zakir Naik, he will say to you, 
First of all, I told you once at a time, don't call me. And you change your voice, and I know you are Christian prince. Uh, brother, but we know why Allah is going to make Quran better than the Quran. How that can be? It's very simple. As an example, Allah, he made Quran. And then he went to school, and he got educated, and he got more knowledge. So he decided to abrogate the Quran. So he said, I'm going to forget the Quran so I can make a better Quran. And that makes sense. Because if you make Quran better than the Quran, and you remember the first Quran, then you will notice that Allah is a stupid and he didn't eat it. So Allah, he have to make you forget the Quran, so he will not notice that the first Quran was a stupid and the second Quran was not stupid. Allah making Quran better than the Quran? <clears throat> <laughs> we have a Muslim trying to call so closely. What? Yes. Hello. Hi. Go ahead. Okay, this is a fake person. Get lost. We have a recording. Do we have any real Abdul? Anyone? Nobody? All right. Well, it looks like we have enough for today. And I hope we cover many issues. And as you see, the Muslims, they have nothing to say. But my friend, remember always, learning about Islam is good to protect yourself from the devil plan to deceive you by this cult. But still, the best protection for you is to earn knowledge from the true Lord, the true God, which we believe in which is you have to read the Bible and study it. So don't give too much time to learn from me about the cult of Islam only, and you ignore that you have to be arming yourself with the word of God. Christian Prince is helping you, how you can refute, and how you can get them busted with their lies. But still, an empty heart, have no spirit of the Lord, he is an empty person, and he is easy target for the devil. The devil have no place to go inside your heart if your heart is occupied with something real. Because if Islam could not get in, something else can get in. Jehovah's Witnesses can get in. Mormon can get in. Atheism can get in. Many, many cults around us. Islam is just one of many things around us. And the best way to protect yourself is to learn about them. Yes, but you arm yourself. The real arming is knowing what you believe. A person who do not know what he believe, he have no belief. And anyone can make fun of him. So I encourage all of you to read the Bible, to study it, to search, and to use the gift which God he gave you which is your brain and your spirit the Lord he said always test the spirit test the spirit anyone come to you with the spirit of division is satanic anyone come to you with the spirit of hate is satanic anyone who speak about love but he don't do what love is is satanic anyone he asks you for your money in order to bring you forgiveness he is a scammer he is doing business he is not a priest of God don't make them fool you. You are a child of God. You should not be a toy of the devil. And always remember, if the Lord is with me, who could be against me? And this is why I am victorious against this cult. Not because a Christian prince is a Christian prince, but because I am self-confident in my Lord. 
I have faith and I have knowledge and if you have both who can take you down thank you very much for being here may the Lord bless you and enter will see you soon again Christ is Lord Islam is false I mean to that thank you